Yes, a very good evening, everybody. Welcome to uh, Quizness Jet number six on this Sunday evening, and I hope you are well. Um, I hope you've all had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Uh, we are going to get straight into um, straight into the whole thing because we've got quite a few people to bring on the show. Um, so we'll start off straight away by bringing on uh, arguably. My my favourite to finish bottom for this evening, <laughs> but we'll go for it. Uh, it is of course Jack Roll. Jack, very good evening to you. Good how evening to you, Tom. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm very well. How are you? Fantastic, thank you. Good stuff. How's your weekend been so far? Obviously, you've been to uh, uh, where was it? Compton, Compton, yeah, Mass? Compton, Abbas again for the uh, Spitfire, thing, been... isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was fine. You got a couple of pictures, which will show off at the end. Yep, no problem. Uh, and that uh let me just very quickly say bruce everyone's like everyone's asking if i'm wearing a suit i'm not i'm i'm dressing up for the part however it will come off after 10 minutes because it's i'm sweating already so <laughs> uh chances jack for this evening how do you rate them um as much as it into into was going to win the uh champions league which was still <laughs> not a thing not a thing all right any uh any particular round that you'll be hoping for for this evening um, probably the, um, um, for me, I, I'd love to see the, uh, roundels. The roundels. Okay. We'll see. See what comes, uh, see what comes your way. Uh, but we'll take you off screen. We'll bring it back very, very shortly. All right. Joining us once more, um, friend of the show, of course. Uh, very delighted to welcome her back. It is Kat Burton. Kat, a very good evening to you. How are you? Very well, thanks. Apart from flipping art, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you kept it PG with flipping. <laughs> so I know what everyone else is thinking. Um, how's your weekend been so far? Yeah, relaxed. Yeah, not sitting complain. on the boat. Just got back from the pub from a nice pub lunch. Beautiful. Within about nice. ooh, ten yards of the boat. So <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, chances this evening, or are you just sort of going to go with the flow? Oh, absolutely! Go with the flow. Go I'm not here flow. to. I'm not here to win. I'm here to enjoy myself. <laughs> it's the taking part that counts. Um, any round in particular you might be hoping for, or might not be hoping for? I know. I probably know what you won't be hoping for, but just uh, any sort of round you are wishing. <laughs> as long as you don't have to rate liveries again, that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of that. None of that at all. Um, I know a lot of people are dreading the uh, drawing round and wishing that's not coming up, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But um, for now, Kat, we'll, uh, we'll take you off screen, but well, uh, welcome back to the, the quiz. Thanks, Tom. All right. Also joining us, um, I'm looking forward to this showdown between two pilots. I'm looking forward to this a lot. Another good friend of the show. It's Alison. Hi, Alison. Hello, everyone. How are you? <laughs> uh, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm good, but I'll describe my weekend so far in one word. Moist. That is... <laughs> Take that how you want to, everyone. Uh, it's just here. It's very hot. Yeah, that's what that's what she meant. Uh, <laughs> of course, what do you want? <laughs> There's a lot of people here that are going to have a lot of dirty minds. Um, but uh, chances this evening, how do you, uh, you rate them? Um, slim. Go with the flow, oh, just like cat. I'm on my third Koppenberg already, so. Blimey. Living the dream. Oh, it's been a hot day. I've been I've been working hard. I mean, sometime. Why not finish it off? Yeah, why not finish it off with uh, yeah, exactly. with uh, some some ciders? Beautiful stuff. Any rounds in particular you're uh, wishing don't that doesn't come well, up? Well, the obvious one for me is uh, the drawing round. I don't. The want drawing that. round. <laughs> Um, if you want to keep it PG, let's not do the drawing round. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, we'll see. We'll see if that turns up. But um, good. good to see you as always. I'll, uh, I'll be you. back very, very shortly. All right. Also back with us is uh, very own Matteo. Matteo, a good evening to you. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Very well. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Hot as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> seems to be the theme but, at the moment. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah, hot but excited. Looking forward to this one. It'll be good a, stuff. Be a good night. Good stuff. Uh, good, good weekend so far. Yeah, it's been great. I've uh, I've been kind of gallivanting around city and Heathrow a little bit, just 
enjoying the sun. Well, the sunlight, I should say. <laughs> uh, get it, getting some, uh, getting some pretty pictures of some aeroplanes and whatnot. So loving life. Amazing. It's all good. Good yeah. stuff. Uh, chances this evening. Obviously, you put on a, a respectable uh, performance last time on the uh, on the last show. Uh, do you think you can do any better, or you just again, like I said with with Cat and Allison, just literally go with the flow? Uh, yeah, go with the flow. I know. We've go got, with the flow. Uh, we've got some pretty. Uh, we've, we've got lots of people here who know a lot about aviation, pilots, enthusiasts, and I'm sure my age and Jack would work against me this time <laughs> as well. <laughs> So, and Jack. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, good no. stuff. Good stuff. All right. Good to see you. I will bring you back very, very shortly. Yeah. See you in a bit. All right. Stepping in for uh, Matt Cochran, who couldn't be here this evening, is our very own uh, Caitlin. A good evening to you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Uh, hot already. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's all good. How's your weekend been so far? Uh, it's been good, thank you. Yeah. That's what Nervous. I meant. <laughs> Nervous for this evening? Yeah. Is the target to beat Jack because you did that last time? Yeah. Everyone's target to beat Jack. It's 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 not difficult. Uh, <laughs> any round in particular that you're hoping that doesn't turn up this evening? Like Alison said, the drawing round. I don't know what the problem is with this with the drawing round, but there you go. <laughs> I can't draw. <laughs> Didn't say you had to draw to do it. Um, <laughs> but no, that is fine. Um, I will bring you back shortly. Um, but good to see you as always. Thank you. All right. Also joining us it was the former uh, Quizness Jet champion um, looking to regain his crown this uh, this evening. It is, of course, Darren Smith. Darren, a very good evening to you. I'd ask how you but I imagine yeah. jubilant mood after West Ham's win on Thursday. So... Oh. I've no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> no idea. No idea at all. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was very good. I have to wait another 52 years before it happens again, I guess. So I'll be... Uh, one of those once in a lifetime experiences. Yeah, why not? Why not? Have you had a good weekend so far? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Um, we had decorators last week doing the uh, exterior of the house and they covered the terrace in paint as well. So we've been scraping and trying to figure things out. But... Uh, yeah, they're not going to get paid, but that's just, uh, <laughs> their problem. <laughs> no, good stuff, good stuff. Obviously, you're not based over here in the UK, so what's the weather like where you are? Are you experiencing the heat as we are, or? Yeah, no, it's. I think it's identical because uh, it's blue sky at about twenty three degrees, so it's uh, it's warm. Oh, okay, so, fair play, fair play. Very nice. Uh, any round in particular you uh, aren't looking forward to this evening if it does come up? Uh, your famous uh, like eBay round of the prices on the night. I hate that. I'm fully expecting the drawing round, actually, to be honest, but that's a different one for me. Well, that goes without saying, that one. Fair play. That's no, that's fair play. All right, no worries. <laughs> we'll bring you uh, bring you back very, very shortly. Cheers. Uh, and now to introduce to you the current reigning defending Quizness Jet champion. Uh, kept us waiting. That's what a champion does. Uh, it is, of course, <laughs> he's laughing. I can see him. He's laughing. Uh, Noel Phillips. Hello. Noel, a very good evening you? to you. How are you? Good evening. Good afternoon, rather afternoon, here. But yeah, yes, I'm, I'm all right. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Um, That's all right. But um, champion's going to make his entrance at some point. You know, well, it's fine. Exactly. Exactly. Better <laughs> late than never is what I like to see. So. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, how's your weekend been so far? Have you had a, a good one? It's been all right. Yeah, it's been all right. I've got my new pickup truck this weekend. I'm feeling like a proper Texan now. So um, oh, we really? went and bought that yesterday. So um, that was pretty cool. So um, yeah, I'm feeling feeling good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Any round in particular that you uh, don't want to be uh, seeing this well, evening? Yeah, the eBay round. I'm not. I'm, I wasn't a fan of the eBay round. I have to say, but I quite <laughs> unlike everybody else. I quite enjoyed the drawing round. Actually, I quite like that one, even though I'm, I can't draw. Yeah. But it, that's what I was thinking. I don't know what the issue was with it. <laughs> I thought it would be nice to be artistic, but there you go. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Oh, fair play, fair play. And uh, <clears throat> we haven't had anybody retain the, the title, so how do you feel it could go? Because you didn't expect to win last time, and you did. I, I, so... I didn't, and on that basis, I don't think I'm going to won't be retaining it either. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like the confidence. Hey. <laughs> yeah, if I, if I like I, the confidence. If I finish, I finish, and yeah, if not, well, <laughs> somebody else can take the reins. It's, it's been a good, it's been a good run of a month. Nice. So. <laughs> I like it. 
That's how it's been for everyone else. So, <laughs> <laughs> so fair play. All right, wonderful. Let's bring everybody back into the room so everyone can say there's so many clicks. I've got to, there we go. Uh, so everyone can say hello to everybody. Hello. Except hello. for who's just hey, disappeared. Hello. <laughs> hello. There you go. Hello. There we go. Fantastic. Good stuff. All right. <clears throat> So if you're new to the quiz uh, and don't know how it works, we have four rounds of uh, games this evening that our competitors here will be taking part in. Um, <clears throat> there are points up for grabs. Uh, you can play along at home as well and keep up with the points and stuff. Let us know at the end of the show what you got um, and see you know uh, if, if you sort of compare to our competitors here uh, this evening. Um, <clears throat> also, very quickly, if you're not a member of the uh, the channel and you want to be, I've pinned uh, a link at the top of the chat as well. The mods will also answer any questions that you have in regards to this uh, as the evening goes on. Um, but other than that, we are going to get going. Now we've got four rounds. There are two new rounds-ish. And Mathieu will come back, I'm sure. Um, there are two new rounds, one that's been rejigged uh, and one that is completely brand new. So we're going to go for... And I've put a lot of work into this. So I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. My editing skills, no, no bounds whatsoever. But we're going to go for the first round, which is... I'm so, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> My editing skills, no, no bounds. Um, but we are going for Blurred Airlines. DJ. <laughs> Um, so this round in particular, who who left then? I think Matteo left. Uh, so we have got, <laughs> um, it's a bit like uh, guessing delivery, um, but I've done it in such a way where rather than blocking stuff out, um, I've completely blurred the image. Mm. It 10 times harder for everybody involved. Okay. I haven't gone easy with the blur either. So I'll give you a couple of minutes just to literally take it in and... Um, have a think about what it could be. So, you do realize this is just going to be making us think our eyesight's gone funny, don't you? <laughs> it's an eye test, basically. Yeah, it's an eye test. Uh, <laughs> there are two points up for grabs one, if you can get the airline, and two, um, if you can get the um, name of the if you can get the no, the you can get the airplane or the aircraft rather. If you can get the aircraft that uh, adorns the livery as well, you will get the full two points. If you just get one or the other, you get one point. Shall we try it? Shall we have a go? Pen and papers at the ready, everyone. Okay. Um, and we are going to start off with the first one. So, who's... Well, what is it? Oh, I, yeah. I did say it wasn't wow. going to be easy, so... <laughs> I'll give you. You can actually have a couple minutes to take it in and have a have a think. Two points up. Okay, so we have lost uh, lost Matteo again, but that's fine. We'll uh, just keep that going. Um, I can say hello to a few people just while you guys have a think, because I'll say these these will be quite tricky. So. Um, so we have uh, Alfet in the chat. Good to see you. Carl Crawford, hello to you. Matchet TV Live as always. I don't have the sound effects, so I can't do it. Do, 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 do. Um, uh, Gemma Rowe, good to see you as always. Rob Brown, uh, Welshy Kev. Um, James Cridland, hello to you. Jim Gemmel, always good to see you. Ian Meadows, of course. Bruce, meet me. Um, Debbie 13. Uh, lots of yeah, lots of people in the, the chat's going mental, but it's fine. Owen Flemo as well. Good to see you. Just getting back from the uh, from the uh, Cosford Air Show for that one. All sorted, Matt. Uh, I I think so. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, we're all good. Yeah, we're all good. Sorry about that. I've just switched devices, so hopefully it won't die on me again. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. All right. So here's, Sorry about that. Here's your first one. Then lots of people with uh, some guesses in there. All right, so let, let me know when you've got an answer or a guess at this point. I have one. <laughs> I've got a guess. Right. With zero guess. confidence whatsoever, I've got a guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll take that off screen. <clears throat> I'm going to go down in order of how I've got it here. So, uh, Caitlin, over to you first. What do you think that is? 
I think it's a Qantas. I don't know. Okay. Any any aircraft in particular, or do you just put Qantas? I just put Qantas. Just put Qantas. That is fine. No worries at all. Um, Cat Burton, over to you. I put Qantas as well, and it doesn't look like it doesn't even look like an aeroplane to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it's not it's just look fat. <laughs> it just looked fat enough to be an A380, but that would mean at least one of the engines on this side had been blurred out. But beyond that, I haven't got a okay. clue. <laughs> All right, uh, Qantas for uh, for Cat as well. Alison, over to you. Uh, my original instinct was a Qantas, but then when I looked a bit closer and sort of defocused my eyes, I reckon it's an Austrian. Austrian? No, no aircraft in particular. Uh, Three twenty. Three twenty. Okay, so Darren, over to you. One. I think it's uh, Noel probably parked next to this last week. Shenzhen Air. I can say it. Shenzhen Airlines safe A three one nine. I've written it down, don't believe me. No, uh, no that's all right. That's right. Um, <laughs> Noel, over to you. Well, funnily enough, Darren, I've got Shenzhen Airlines as well down. And I've got an A320, so I don't know. Okay. Your spelling's really better. Uh, Jack, over to you. <laughs> I've gone for a TWA A220. A TWA A220. Yeah. I mean, that, that'd be quite something, Jack. That would, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> be quite something. He was watching. You've been watching that Tom Cruise <laughs> uh, Matteo, over to you. Uh, no idea on the airline, but I've written down A319 as an aircraft type. A319 as well. All right. Uh, I can tell you that this belongs to Szechuan. That's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Szechuan <laughs> Airlines. It's Szechuan. So I think you, you uh, Noel and Darren, put Shenzhen. Shenzhen right? Airlines, yeah. Shenzhen Airlines, yeah. So yeah. one point for the for the aircraft. It's an A319. Uh, Matteo gets a point as well for that one. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> not at all. Mm. That's the point. Okay. Otherwise, mm. what's the point in a quiz? All right. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one. There are uh, ten of these. So number two. Who is this, please? Is an airplane there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I nearly spat my drink uh, drink out then. <laughs> Definitely oh. an airplane there. No? Definitely an airplane there. No? I thought I was just a bit windy. But who does it belong to? Uh, I, think, I don't think anybody in the chat got that first one. The Lots of people going Air Malta, Louder, Air Malta, Shanghai yeah. Airlines says uh, Max. Right. Let me know when you've got an answer. If you need some more time, yeah. then that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Done. All good? Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Got it. Caitlin, Jack, all good? Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. All right. Nice one. Take that off screen then. So we're going to go back down the same order that we had then. So, Caitlin, over to you. Um, I thought it was the uh, Man City livery. Man City, uh, the Etihad mm. uh, yeah. plane. Okay. Uh, Kat Burton, over to you. Well, it's blue, so I've just put Jet Blue and an A320. <laughs> Jet Blue and an A320. Alison? I thought one of those wacky A paint jobs and a 787. Ah, okay, 787. Wacky paint job. Uh, Darren, over to you. Uh, Breeze A220. Breeze A220. No. Uh, Breeze A220 300. Uh, Breeze A320. Uh, A uh, Jack, over to you. A350 from uh, ITA. ITA, A350. And Matteo, over to you. Breeze A220. Breeze A220. I can tell you that this image, and I can see why a lot of people oh, went don't be an Embraer. <laughs> is a Breeze oh, A220. Yeah, right. How can you see yeah. What a scheme. Yeah. Hmm. Nice scheme. I love it. Very nice indeed. Great aircraft as well. Yeah. A good shout, well done. Uh, two points then to uh, Noel, Darren, and Matteo on that one. Good stuff. All right. Uh, number three, who's uh, who? Well, what is it? Oh my god, Gordon Bennett. 
Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, is it getting more blurred as time goes <laughs> on? <laughs> no, it's, it's just ruining our eyesight. <laughs> Jesus, I have to spec savers. I thought this would be a good round. Oh, if you go further back from your screen, it gets clearer. <laughs> yeah, if you go side, it still won't be clearer. Oh, I think I've got the type. Yeah, I think i got Sally. Okay. I think I've got it. Take your, take your time. If you think about it, then, uh, like I said, it's not, not an issue. Just let me know when you've got an answer. Yeah. Um, let's see, who, who got the... Uh, lots of people went for the Etihad... Um, Livery from before. Um, Alfet went British Airways Better World Livery. Uh, I think the only person I got it was Lee Class with Breeze. So very good. Well done to you. Give yourself some points. All right. How are we doing? Everyone got an answer yet? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Or, or something at least. <laughs> All right. Who uh, who does that belong to? Then let's get that off screen. Back down. In fact, we'll go reverse order this time. So, Matteo, over to you. Uh, Pan Am seven two seven, maybe. Pan Am seven two seven. Jack. I've gone for a Boeing seven two seven, but I. Uh, a what? A Boeing seven seven two seven, but I didn't have a clue. Is a Boeing seven two seven, but didn't have a clue. That's no worries. No. Uh, Pan Am seven two seven. Pan Am seven two seven. Darren. Pan Am seven two seven, and now. I've... Focus so hard, I feel as though I've got a headache. Um, Alison, over to you. Um, 727 from Pan Am as well. 727 from Pan Am. Uh, Kat? Yeah, Pan Am 727. And Caitlin? Yeah, I'm sure. 727. I don't know. All right, no worries at all. All right, points across the board, whether you got the airline or not. Um, it belongs to... And if you squint hard enough, and I know that's where you get a headache, of course it's the Pan Am 727. Mm. Oh, with the wing nice. Oh, yeah. What's with the wing that, Uh huh. Not the old yeah. iteration, the sort of second coming almost. Yeah. I say it's got winglets, that one. It does, yeah. yeah. It's got a logo on the winglets. Mm. Very strange. Good stuff. Mm. Mm. All right. Over to the next one. Uh, strain your eyes, please. Uh, who is this? Oh, good grief! <laughs> <laughs> I will let me just. I will say this now. They are all blurred at the same percentage. Really? There is no altering of anything. They are all the same. <clears throat> There's some software on Facebook that can sharpen these up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I got these off Facebook. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know what Facebook's like with quality of pictures when you upload it. Oh, God. Tragic. Okay. All right. Let me have a look in the chat and um, see what uh, okay. see what people put. Uh, Jim Gemmell getting it right, saying the Pan Am 727. Well done to you. Lee Class getting the aircraft, not the airline. Benny doing the opposite, getting the airline, not the aircraft. I think what that is. Give yourself some points for that one. Okie dokie. Um, good grief. Did say it wasn't going to be easy. <laughs> I guess. But. Trouble is, I'm getting a hint of another airplane going from right to left on this one. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it missing a nose wheel? Who knows, knows what it could be missing? <laughs> You'll find out in a minute. Everyone got an answer? Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah, okay. kind of, yeah. Or just, or, uh, in fact, not an answer. Just has anyone got written anything down? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I think that's probably the better, better way of putting it. All right. So I'll take that off screen. Um, so let's go back the same way we've just done. So, Matteo, over to you, please. Um, I have no idea. But aircraft type, maybe an A330. And uh, in terms of airline, I've put a random guess as like Starlux or something. But, okay. yeah, it's a Starlux A330, but really not sure. Okay. Um, Jack, over to you. 727 from Titan I've gone for. No, you, seven, you, five, you, seven. Are you throwing airlines and aircraft together? Didn't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Titan Airways, 727. All right. Uh, <laughs> Noel, over to you. 
I've gone for an Eva Air Triple Seven. Eva uh, Air Triple Seven. The best uh, I can get. That's right. Darren Oti. I was thinking Starlux A three fifty. Starlux A three fifty. Allison. Uh, I was going to think three fifty to start with because of the nose, but I thought maybe it's more of a seven eight seven nose. So as a guess, tie seven eight seven. Okay, seven eight seven. Uh, cat over to you. Well. I think you might have thrown us a curveball as well as a blur here. So I actually put down a British Airways 757, but in Utopia. British Coliseum. Airways 757. Oh, but, right. U- yeah. but specifically in Utopia. I think that's another it- airplane going the other way. Uh, <laughs> it's all an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Caitlin, over to you for the last answer. Oh, I put British Airways A350. British Airways A350. I can tell you. This uh, little curveball, um, and the only one I think that got the full points was Matteo for a Starlux A330. Oh, sweet. Oh, no. Damn, I didn't recognize a 330. Alison, I'm disappointed. And mind you, it was blurred, so I'm not. I know the same. Oh, well, that's a Neo as well. Nice. There you go. So, 40 points for Matteo. Um, it was the high Excuse nose. Me? The high nose looked quite like the, the kind of. Like the pitch on, on the picture looked like kind of 330 ish flare angle mm. kind of thing. Always a bit nose high, so I thought maybe. Good yeah. shot. Tom, I was looking at the aircraft in the background, not the one in the foreground. <laughs> 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 it's my fault for not cropping it down enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well done. All right, halfway through. Oh, God, this not another eight. four. Oh, I'm that's... Oh, wait, baby. Jeez. Oh my god. Like I said, they are all blurred at the same rate, so Oh hello. Right. Does it get more blurred as you put it on? Yeah. Unless you're on the booze, no. (laughs) That's why I'm going wrong. (laughs) Very good. Lots of people were thinking it was uh seven five seven British Airways as well, so a lot of people were thrown off that as well. Oh man, this one, yeah, this this one's nasty. Mm. It is. I think I got it. Oh. I haven't. I've just guessed. Okay, right. Everyone got something? Oh god. Yeah. 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 All good. Jack yeah. got something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who, uh, who's is this then? So we'll go the opposite way. So we'll go with Caitlin first. Um, A320, I don't know what airline. A320, uh, Kat? I put a louder 737. A louder 737. Alison? Well, every time I think it's a small one, it's a bigger one, so I'm going to go for an A380 with Qantas. A380 Qantas. Darren? Probably 737. Um, I was thinking Logan Air, but I've changed my mind. I've gone for a hop, Embraer. Hop Embraer. Um, yeah. Good shout. No, all over to you. Um, I've gone for an Air Arabia A320. Air Arabia mm. A320. Jack, over to you. Iberia A320. A320. Uh, Matteo? Uh, no idea, but Austrian A320. I know Austrian A320. All right. The only one that's getting full points there is uh, Noel Phillips. It is, of course, Ooh. Air Arabia. And there's oh, wow. really good guess that. <laughs> well done. Jesus. Well done. Nice I've one. tried to pick liveries that will throw people off, and it, I've, I've, I've done well to throw people off. But yeah, Air Arabia, A320 for that one. A chance for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people went down the louder route, I must admit. Gemma Rowe went down the same route as Cat Burton with the uh, Louder 737. Yeah, very good. Hmm. Sarah's given up. She's not, she's not guessing anymore. <laughs> Don't give up for easily. Um, right, so that's that one. All right, let's take that one off screen. Next one, please. Oh, oh. Uh, you're playing there. There is. Oh, yes. uh, Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got that. <laughs> you can hear the excitement across the room. 
I think it's only because last time I went on one of them, I was that drunk. (laughs) 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 Oh, dear. (laughs) All right. Let me know when everyone's got uh, something written down. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. Cool. Let's uh, let's find out then what uh, what you think this is. We'll go same uh, as before. So, Caitlin, over to you. Uh, I don't know. I just think it's a Tui. <laughs> tui. All right. Cat. Yeah, I've gone for Tui as well. Seven eight seven. Two e seven eight seven. Alison. Two e seven eight seven. Two e seven eight seven. Uh, Darren. I think it's Neos. Yeah. But I'm not sure if it's a seven three or a Dreamliner. So I'm going to go for. I'm going to go Dreamliner. Dreamliner. Okay. Uh, Noel. I've gone for two e seven six seven because I think it's got winglets. Two e seven six seven. Jack. Mm. So I've gone for Neo seven three seven. Uh, Neos 737 and Matteo uh, I've gone for the Neos Dreamliner as well Neos Dreamliner alright <clears throat> if you're uh, doing anything right now stop because the only person that managed to get full house on this one is Jack oh, with whoa. the Neos 737 Hey. Well done, Jack. Well done, Jack. Well done, Jack. So, two points for Jack Rolls. Uh, if you said Neos or seven three seven, you get a point for that. Uh, like that. I can also understand why people thought it would be Tui, which is why I picked it. Uh, <laughs> but very well done, Jack. Full two points to you. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone's like, "What?" <laughs> so lots, lots of people in the chat went down the uh, the, the Tui route. Yeah, very good shout. All right, a couple more to go. Let's try this one. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So What? I'm trying to look at what the black splodge is behind the wing. Just while they're guessing, if you are enjoying it, <coughs> do leave a like on the uh, on the uh, on the stream. Help the channel out. Could it be, could it be an aircraft operated by an airline that are no longer operated by the airline? Say again, sorry. Could it be an aircraft <laughs> operated by an airline once before that isn't now, or are these are supposed to be current? It's quite literally anything. Oh, Pan Am's oh. not current. No. <laughs> <That's really good. laughs> yeah, sorry. We're no, old enough to think as though they're Better to ask. Yeah, no, it could be anything. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Oh. Absolutely anything. Past, present, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing. Okay. I'm guessing. Yeah, I think I've got something. Everyone's got something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Cool. It's an aeroplane. <laughs> Two points to Alison. And... <laughs> All right, let's uh, go down the line um, in the opposite way. So, Matteo, over to you. Um, I think, and I think Darren and I may be on the same track because I had, this, I was wondering the same thing as him. Is it the Royal Brunei Triple Seven by any chance? Royal Brunei Triple Seven, Jack. So I gone for a seven eight seven. Seven eight seven, Noel. Royal Brunei seven eight seven. Royal Brunei seven eight seven, Darren. Royal Brunei, but would it be a 787 or 777 or 76? I go triple seven. Stick Royal to my Brunei original. triple seven. Um, Alison. I went for one that's in the sky. I just 319. 319. Cat, over to you. I went for Royal Brunei 757. Whoa, Brunei 757 mm. and Caitlin. Yeah. I went for Scoot 787. Scoot 787. Uh, I can tell you mm. that uh, this belongs to Royal Brunei and their Triple oh, 7, oh. which no longer operates oh. in their fleet. What's the nice. Very nice oh, indeed. Shame they got rid of it. Yeah. 
Very well done. Two points if you got both. A point if you got triple seven or Royal Brunei. All right. There you go. You're on, Jack. This one, please. This is, this is challenging a lot of people in the chat. Is, <laughs> everyone's like, I give up. <laughs> Who's got the barking dog? <laughs> I mean, there are birds outside my window. If that's if that's what that's you're me. Doing. Sorry. Oh, right. <laughs> no Fair I don't know what she's barking at. <laughs> right, has everybody got uh, something written down? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. Yep. All right. Back down the uh, opposite way, Caitlin. Over to you. I went for Iberia three twenty. Iberia three twenty, Cat. Yeah, I went for Iberia three twenty as well. Iberia 320, Alison. Iberia A320. Uh, Iberia A320. Darren. Iberia A321. Iberia A321. Noel. Iberia A320. Iberia A320. Jack. Iberia A321. Iberia A321. And Matteo. Iberia 321. Iberia 321. So points across the board, whether it's a one or a two, because it is Iberia's A321. So some points there for everybody. A lot of people getting this in the chat as well. Getting the airline, lots of people getting the aircraft wrong, but I can also understand why. Lots of people are saying 320s, 319s, 320 Neos. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. All oh, right. Can, can my eyes start focusing again now? <laughs> Not yet. Got two more. <laughs> two more. We'll get through them quickly. Uh, this one. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Let's try a bit of paper away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All your pictures are like this, Jack, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. It's not that. Bucket, 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 bucket. Which hell is it? Shout when you've got something written down. Got it. Yep. Yep. I have something. Yep. Everyone's got something? Yeah. 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 All righty. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, Caitlin, over to you, please. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Probably. I'm going to guess Qantas. Qantas? Okay. Uh, Kat? Yeah, I've scribbled down Qantas 787, but with no confidence. Okay. Alison? Uh, my first instinct was Virgin 787, but the tail's wrong. It doesn't, the red doesn't go far enough over the actual APU housing, so it's not an eight Virgin one. But it's definitely 787, I think. Okay. Seven eight seven of some kind. Uh, Darren, I think it's a Turkish A three fifty. Turkish A three fifty. Noel, I've gone for Northwest Airlines. Their new livery, but I don't want the newer livery, obviously. But um, I don't know what aircraft type, so I'm passing. Northwest. On that. Okay, Jack. Turkish seven eight seven. Turkish seven eight seven. And Matthew. I've also gone Turkish seven eight seven. Turkish seven eight seven. I can tell you that this belongs to. Turkish and their 787. Oh, yeah. Two points for Matteo and Jack. Mm. For those and those who said Dreamliner, one point for you. Told you I feel mm. confident today. <laughs> In, easy, Jack. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, you'll be glad to know. Last one of the round. I think I need eye drops now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, fucking heck. Oh, yes. This one, please. Oh. <clears throat> Everyone's saying that the, the blur is annoying. <laughs> right. I think I got something. 
think that's the idea. Um, I, next time I do the round, I will not have it so, 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 so blurry. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. Chat's not, chat's not happy. Chat ain't happy with it. All right. Last one for the round. Everyone got something written down? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wonderful. Reverse order this time. Matteo. Kuwait A330, maybe, the old scheme. Kuwait A330. Uh, Jack? Kuwait A330. Kuwait A330. Noel? On for Aerolinius Argentinus A330. Yeah. Uh, Darren? Kuwait A330. Kuwait A330. Alison? Uh, okay, then, uh, A319. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Cat. I couldn't see. All I can see was blue. <laughs> Cat, over to you. I went for a Q8 A300. Q8 A300. And I work on a principle. If I have to see him that close up, then there's something. Yeah. <laughs> Kaylin, over to you. Uh, Q8. I don't know what one there. Okay. So just, just Q8, and that's fine. All right. Last one of the round. This one belongs to Q8, and they're A330. Oh, Double points again for Jack. I've got Airbus, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Such a beautiful aircraft. Yeah. Butter machine. Yeah. I like a 330. Mm. All right. Good stuff. That's the end of uh, Blurred Airlines. Uh, <laughs> here are the scores then after the first round. So, in joint uh, joint last place with four points, it's Caitlin and Alison. <laughs> in position, Caitlin. <laughs> in, uh, in fifth place with six points is Cat Burton. Uh, in joint third with ten, it's Noel and Jack. I don't know how. Jack's got nosebleed <laughs> because he's so high up in the scores. Um, Don't say that about Noel. Uh, in second place... <laughs> Um, in second place with 14 points is Darren, and leading the way with 17 is Matteo. Ooh, cracky. Well done. Mm. Very well done. Okay, we're going to go on to the uh, second round, which I know a lot of you were looking forward to. Of course, it's It Cost <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, All right, so this round in particular... Uh, if you're again new to the uh, new to the quiz, um, I have searched far and wide on the UK eBay to have a look for some interesting items. <laughs> that <laughs> that's one description for them. <laughs> it's, it's, it certainly is. Um, let me just get the uh, page up. Bear with me, just so I know what I'm. Looking at okay, so I've picked out uh, eight items from uh, the UK eBay. They are all the buy now prices and in pound sterling. Uh, all I need you to do is just basically tell me how much you think it is on the wacky world of eBay. As we know, eBay is one of those weird things where you know people will try to sell things at stupid prices. So bear that in mind. Well, All right, well, let's have a look well, at the first well, one. Well, with, the, um, with the eBay prices, tight bastards. <laughs> uh, two points. <clears throat> two points up for grab uh, if you get the right answer. And none, of course, if you get the wrong one. We're going to start off with something a little bit unique. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Now, hang on. <laughs> Illegal. Hold on, because there is an extra, it's a an extra picture. Thought. There's an extra picture. Right. This, Here we go. this is a British Midland fork from the business class. <laughs> How do I know it's uh, British Midland? It's on the back. Is it used? Uh, funnily enough, Matthew, yes, it's used. <laughs> Where's the noise? So it contains the DNA of someone who had it in, uh, in business class before. Uh, other bits and bobs that you need to know about it. <laughs> it's 6.3 inches long. <laughs> sell it, Tom, sell it. I'm, I'm trying to sell it. Um, multiple uses as well, apparently. <laughs> One care <carefully>. uh, <laughs> Possibly from the 1980s, they reckon. 
that is about it. Uh, I just need you to tell me how much you think that might be. Is there an option for you pay them? They pay you, I mean. <laughs> Again, sorry. Is there an option for them paying you to take it off the hands? <laughs> uh, I don't think. Big no, big sadly big. not. Sadly not. Okay. Ian Meadows saying uh, six point three inches. Tom, what about the fork? <laughs> <laughs> Someone had to, I guess. What I overestimate? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Panels on fire this evening. All right. <laughs> so, how much for this business class fork from uh, British Midland? Everyone got a price? Yeah. 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 Or they've got something. The real price is what I'd pay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me uh, take that off screen then. So, back down the same way. So, Caitlin, over to you. How much for that fork? I mean, it should be discounted because there's no knife and spoon. But <laughs> I'm just going to go with five pounds. Five pounds for that one. Cat, over to you. 99p. 99 pence. Uh, Alison. I'm going to go for 99 pence, and that's including the postage and packing. 99 pence <laughs> as well. Darren? One pound. Single pound. <laughs> uh, Noel, over to you. Three pounds. Three pounds. Jack? Eight pounds. Mm. Eight pounds from Jack. What? Jack is the master of overestimating by quite a bit. Um, Matteo, over to you. Uh, five pounds, but subject to negotiation. Five pounds, subject to negotiation. I can reveal to you that the person that is walking away with two points for the British Midland business class fork is Noel. You would what? Uh, what? three pound eighty. What? Jeez. That's a Jesus. Which is mental for a fork that is has set several uses. That's starting bit. <laughs> it's crazy. So three pound. Has eight. it been has it been washed since the last use? I God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. Well, since the eighties. Yeah. Um, oh, that. Oh. Yeah. The time since British Midlands stopped trading, stopped being who they are, um, the DNA would have degraded anyway. So it's fine. Fair play. There you go. <laughs> Not worth Bubbles it. Then. Steel. <laughs> <laughs> right, two points to. Is that what a scrap metal value is of a fork? Three pound eighty. Start hitting me uh, my drawers now, I think. Oh. Right. Uh, so on to the next one then. Um, quite an interesting piece, and if you listen very carefully, you'll hear the sound of Wayne's wallet opening. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So. Before galaxy. This is a. Uh, a Herpa Wings 1200 Lockheed C 5A Galaxy. Um, it's uh, da, 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 da. it's quite uh, quite a large item, 35 centimeters wingspan with a fuselage length of 35 to 50 centimeters. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know why they put that. I'd imagine it'd be longer. So 50 centimetres uh, and uh, th uh, 35 centimetres wingspan. Uh, condition is uh, brand new. Brand new. Um, Sorry, was there a scale for it? 1, 200. 1, 200, okay. Die cast, does it say the material? Uh, Herpa wings, so it will be it will be die cast, yeah. Okay. Is it hand painted? <laughs> Um, no, just a die cast metal model. All right, cool. Do the, do the wheels go up? <laughs> what? You always buy it and find out. <laughs> Are there any what's, what's it painted as? I, I don't know. It's, just, it's an interesting, yeah, it's an interesting livery for sure. Very, very interesting. No openable doors. I don't remember the grey. Uh, it's I mean, not an interactive model, no. It's just a standalone model with okay. the... Uh, I with presume the with Empire State written on the side, it's supposed to be New York Air National Guard, is it? Quite possibly. Uh, the listing says... Uh, uh, yeah, New York ANG. Can it be used as a knife? <laughs> 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 I'm regretting this one already. Uh, <laughs> but sure, sure as hell, can't be used as anything decorative, can it? No. 
<laughs> still, still a, a relatively um, um, decent model, at least I think. I'm, I'm actually seeing Jack's food look better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, that's saying something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's very well itself. Like it. All right. Um, so, everyone got something written down for that? Yep. Oh, you want us to write it down? <laughs> well, just in case you don't remember what you put down. <laughs> right, we'll go, uh, go down the board again. Caitlin, over to you. How much for that model? I think it's a really nice model. I'm going to say 125 pounds. Cap? I'm going to say 15 quid because I wouldn't give that out. <laughs> <laughs> 15 quid the, right, only I way, the only way I'd bid on it would be to make sure I lost <laughs> <laughs> Alison over to you um, I went for 35 quid 35 quid, Darren I put 100 but I'm not sure why 100 pounds, <laughs> Noel oh, I've gone for 180 180 pounds it's quite yeah. a big model isn't it it's a 200. it is, it is yeah. 20. Jack over to you 140 140 and Matthew? 169. 169. Very specific. This, two of you have underestimated this massively. Um, no surprises here for those of the £15 and £35 bids. Um, this would set you back £299.95. What? That's a rip off. That's for a dodgy scheme like that. <laughs> C5 is really not like in now. the modeling in the modeling world. The C5 is a very rare plane to get, so that is why the oh. price is extortionate. Yeah. Yeah. And returns are accepted. Absolutely. So you can get use out of it for a week or so, and then you can send it back and get a refund. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but surely in that right. time, anybody with any with half a brain would have repainted it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they probably can't see it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I sent you not a fan cam. Oh. <laughs> that is so horrible. Uh, is, let me yes. just. Um... Well, at least I've only spent fifteen pound ninety nine so far. <laughs> cool. Yeah, two hundred ninety nine pound ninety five pence. Good stuff. All right. Bonkers. It is bonkers. That's that's how expensive models have become in uh, recent years, especially for the rarer one. Um, right, on to the next one. Nice little one, this, I think. Um, a few of you will appreciate this one. Oh, oh nice. Oh, nice Classic. little uh, postcard here of a British Caledonian 747-200. Um, condition, new and unposted. Ooh, good for that. Which you'd expect you, uh, listing it on eBay. Can Can you see the registration on it, uh, Tom? Oh uh, God, it's um. Starts it begins with, with a G. Yeah, it starts with a G and D, <laughs> and that's about it. That's all I can see. G huge. Uh, no, I, I unfortunately I can't make it out. Are they okay. the? Uh, they're the Pratt engines as well, aren't they? They are. Yeah, yeah. they are indeed. JM, the last two letters, is that? It looks like a JM. Let me have a look. I'm yeah. going to quickly quickly do a quick Google search. Looks <laughs> like Lima, Juliet, Mike, the last three letters, probably. But... That's a beautiful colour scheme. Yeah, it's lovely. Iconic, for sure. The things I'd do to listen to that taking off is it that no. i saw that color scheme but only after they'd painted the word british off it <laughs> <laughs> so it is a lovely lovely color scheme though very very nice yellow dog airlines that was our nickname <laughs> <laughs> <That's a dog. laughs> Labrador Airways. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, Bruce for the super. I've just seen Bruce's super chat there saying that was a hard round and the font and the font is uh, very hard to read. So thank you very much for that. 
Much appreciated for the super chat and the fact that even I now had to squint my eyes just to read what that says. Um, <laughs> Alfred has been uh, a member for a month as well, saying, glad to be a member for a month. Keep it up. I will do my very best. Thank you so much. And I don't have the uh, the uh, sound effects or anything, so I can't play the one of Max going to bed, but Max has gone to sleep already. So if you had five times in the first hour of the show, well done to you for putting, uh, putting Max on the, on mute. All right, everyone got a price? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm just trying to that registration. It will bug me because I, I want to know what it is. Yes, I'm just having a look now. We only had four. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be one of them. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So let's go down the, the opposite way. Matteo, over to you for that postcard, please. Uh, $4.99. $4.99. Jack? 15 quid. Thing quid. What? <laughs> you tell, this is why I always say this is Jack's favourite round. Uh, Noel, over to you. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine as well. Uh, Darren. Fiver. Fiver. Allison. Uh, Twenty five pounds, and I think I've got the reg. Twenty five pounds. Uh, Cat. Well, I was going to say fifteen, but just to differentiate, yes, I'm going to say fourteen ninety nine now. <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine. Caitlin, over to you. Uh, Five pound fifty. Five pound fifty. Uh, I can tell you that the rather charming postcard of the British Caledonian seven four seven two hundred would cost you ten pounds. Wow! Wow! Did you say you had a reg, Alison? I think so. Just bring the big image back up, Tom, if you can. We just bring it up. I think that's Bravo, Julia, X Ray, November. Ah. No, it can't be Alison. That's an ex British Airways uh, registration. Is it? Uh, right. I think. It's going to be one of those, isn't it? It's going to be one of those that's going to boggle the mind for God knows how long. Mm. On the flip side to that. It would be Carl Reg, but it may have gone over. Well, well, many, Scottish, many of the viewers are the owner of this postcard. <laughs> <laughs> Might be worth just contacting. Just go. Do you know the Reg for the? Um, yeah. <laughs> they all the, went to the All right, two points for Caitlin on that one for getting closest. Okay. Right, on to the next one, which I also think is is quite a little charming piece. So, Ooh. let me. Uh, Hang on a Eventually. It's incomplete. So this is... Um, da, 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 da. We get bonus points for identifying all the airlines. Uh, uh, sadly, no. <laughs> sadly, no. Um, this is a, uh, a mint official emblems of the world's greatest airline collection. Um, the material that you need to know is um, it is uh, where was it? I did see it earlier. I think uh, right. So it's solid, yeah, solid sterling silver, and enamel coloured. Wow. And they are uh, mm -hmm. logos of airlines from I would hazard a guess and say possibly early nineties. Yeah, I think you're right there. Something like that. Before that, a lot of them. No, Good point. Yeah. Could possibly be before that. Yeah, I would say the eight. What's the airline below? What's the airline below Iberia? Um, it says yeah. Air, Air Union. Air Union. Oh, it's definitely some really old, old sort of logos in there as well. It's def definitely earlier than the nineties. Yeah, early yeah. eighties. Maybe. Yeah, judging by the Delta logo, isn't wasn't that around the eighties? And 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 BA. That last that was the old seventies, uh, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. Yeah. Egypt there is 80s, 70s, 70s, 80s. Could, could, could either be a mixture or it could be set from, yeah. from one particular sort of uh, time, time frame. Uh, Alitalia, world's greatest airline. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been back then. Um, <laughs> before Please many, your many changes. <laughs> Um, so uh, the description says um, it comes with a booklet of airline transportation, a great gift for any collector. Please see pictures for conditions. Uh, they're in great condition with minimal minimal patina in the, oh minimal patina in original box and paperwork whatever that means all right so 
distressing. Uh, yeah, everything's everything's in there. It's got a certificate of authenticity as well, with somebody's email address saying, "Hi Barry, please email me." <laughs> Weird. Sorry, I can't I even notice that when I was price? looking for it. Fair play. All right, just gonna have a price for this one, please. Sorry, Tom. I don't know if I missed it. Was there a size? Uh, no, oh. not that I can see. No, just a. It's just a. Uh, how would you? Does it look big? It's our cigarette card sort of sizes, or it's, it's hard to say from the pictures. It really is. I would say it's more. Let's go for like MacBook size. Okay. If you All know right. what a MacBook is and the size of like a small yeah. miniature laptop type thing, like kind of 13, 14 inches diagonal. It's, it's not a big, yeah. yeah, it's not a big thing. It's not a big thing at all by the looks of it. Got it. Cool. So just little, I think, imagine it's almost like little, um, like cufflink sized things, I imagine. But I'm just going off of that. But solid sterling silver and enamel painted as well. What do we think to, uh, what do we think to that? So, um, let's go. Has everyone got a price, by the way? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right, Caitlin, over to you for that uh, for that piece. Uh, One forty. One forty. Cat. I went for two fifty. Two fifty. Alison. I went for a little bit higher than that. I went for four hundred fifty nine ninety nine. Four fifty nine ninety nine. Darren. I'm doing a jack here, and I'm saying fifteen hundred pounds. Fifteen hundred pounds. That is definitely doing a jack. Uh, <laughs> uh, Noel, one hundred and twenty quid. One hundred and twenty pounds, Jack. Twenty-four pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did hear me. Okay. Like solid sterling silver. About right, twenty-four quid. Uh, Matteo, over to you. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. A little bit more respectful than, uh, than uh, twenty-four pound. Um, I can reveal to you that the uh, the rather charming piece of the emblems from the world's greatest airlines, which apparently include Alitalia, um, would cost you one hundred forty-nine pounds. Ooh, wow! That's all right. Can you move the decimal point one place to the right? Okay. <laughs> what was that? Can you move the decimal point over one place to the right? <laughs> Sadly, no, no, I can't do that. Uh, so another two points to Caitlin with 140 pounds on that one. So very well done to you. A bit of the guesses there. Cool. All right, 149 pounds for that. Next one. We all like a blanket, and this one is the exact same thing. Aero Cypria. Sorry, Euro Cypria, I should say. Uh, Euro Cypria oh, Airlines uh, blanket. That's um, not a blanket, it's a sack. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been through the wash a few times. The Definitely space. has. Um, That's a cheap economy blanket, that is. Those in the know will be able to kind of, under, you know, maybe be able to kind of um, uh, correct this, maybe, if it's not true. Um, it says, uh, Euro Cypria Airlines in-flight blanket from 2000s, uh, airline memorabilia, charter flights. Great condition, memorabilia from the charter airline, which was part of Cyprus Airways, which was sold off in 2006. Is that correct? Does anybody know? No idea. Okay. Uh, someone, someone in the chat will probably uh, uh, say if it is or not. Blanket measures 110 centimetres by 110 centimetres, and it's used. I you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd throw it in there. Um, it's used, so um, yeah. How just much do you think for that? Just hope it hasn't got any stains. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that. any. <laughs> I can't see any. You're not, you're not looking at the Jesus. right side. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a look at the other pictures. I still can't see any. <laughs> Uh, Lewis well, 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 she Kev says, do not use a UV light on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, Lewis from London Plainspot is saying that that is correct. I imagine he would have known that. So, yeah, good shout. Um, so. 
that's how much I pay for it. If that. <laughs> Everybody got a price. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. How much is it? Those things that when you put your sack of old clothes out to say that uh, how much goes to charity for each ton? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see what you think. Matteo, over to you. Uh, £20. £20. Jack? £20. £20 as well. Noel? £18. £18? Yeah. £18. Darren? Uh, £10. £10. Alison? £5. £5. Cat? £99p. 99p. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before or after the UV inspection. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Caitlin, over to you. I mean, I wouldn't pay 5p for this, but I'm just going to go £25. 20, 25? Yeah. £25. Okie dokie. This uh, blanket, which, uh, I mean, it's being hung out to dry, which means... Yeah. Um, <laughs> would set you back if you wanted it. I mean, I don't know why you would. It's It's quite hideous, if you ask me. Yeah. 50 quid. No. <laughs> <laughs> 50 quid. Oh, I love it. Dream on. What is it they always say? It's got no value till somebody actually buys it. That's it. <laughs> and like I always say, this is the UK eBay. You never know what they're going to put out on the thing. <laughs> As I said before, it's quite fast. It? Tom. Just Hello. as a matter of interest, I think it's supposed to have sold by now, looking at the dates at the bottom. Have a look and see if it's actually sold. Um, I'm actually on it now. It's it's not. It hasn't been sold. It's it's ready to well, buy. No surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so it's estimated to be with you next year, basically. <laughs> yeah, you have to pay it like 4.45 for delivery oh, as well. Yeah. Yeah. What? 4.45 for next year's delivery. Oh, they're from Boston. That's why they've got no concept of how much things cost. In <laughs> <laughs> you have the tip, tip as oh, well. For it. I'd like to just put out there that those are the views of Alison and not the channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the uh, on to the bit more of a, a well, an interesting sort of final three that we've got here. Here's your first. Ooh. Oh. What is that? No, Jack. It's not a rocket. Um, <laughs> let me I'll tell you exactly what that is. <clears throat> it is an X RAF tornado nose cone. Oh wow. Which one? Uh it actually doesn't say. Which is a bit annoying. There's only two pictures of it that show basically the cone, and that's it. <clears throat> Um, it's in used condition, obviously. <coughs> Collection only, or arrange your own shipping. Where does it have a location? Where it is? On a Euro pallet. <laughs> Leeds. <laughs> Leeds. Okay. Um, that I'm going to be a bit down to the poor dog town. However, is that actually is that actually where it fell? <laughs> <laughs> Would surprise me. Um, Would not surprise me. It's eBay prices, so it could be bloody. This is why you choose off eBay and not things like Amazon, because it makes things a lot more interesting. Bloody anything. Did you hear that? Who was that? Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I agree with Rob Brown's comment. It must be a GR4. It can't be an F3. I mean, <coughs> it, it's not a radar nose cone. It's a non-radar nose cone, yes. isn't it? Yes. Or as yeah. Ali Cat so nicely puts, it's a giant gnome's hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Funny, I, look, I looked at it and thought of beer. It's exactly the same as an Oast House from Kent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forget dry, you. Could probably dry hops under that. <laughs> Right, was this one. taken before the Berlin Wall was knocked down? <laughs> <laughs> right, everybody got a, uh, everyone got an answer? Yep. Oh, God, I'm yeah. supposed to buy the bloody thing. Or, or something, something <laughs> to write down at least. 
It is an investment. All right, back down the line. Um, uh, so, Caitlin, over to you. How much for the tornado nose cone? Uh, 500. 500 pounds. Cat? I'll put 150 down and I wouldn't even pay that. <laughs> 150. Alison? Um, knowing eBay, two and a half thousand pounds. Two and a half thousand pounds. Darren? I was going to say 500 as well, approximately. 500 as well. Noel? 749. 749. Jack? 3,500. Please, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Matteo, over to you. 1,750. Okie All right. Um, so, uh, this no cone will set you back. And well done to two of you who are getting the points because you are spot on with 500 pounds. What? So two points for Darren and two points for Caitlin on that one. Shock. Okay. It doesn't come with postage. Because yeah, you've got to go collect it from Leeds. Oh, God, I've got a postage. <laughs> no good if you had a mini. <laughs> it's 11 foot long as well, so getting in your car is going to be a bit of a trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it will go down well if you attach it to the roof. <laughs> if you put it on the front of your car you'll go faster yeah. <laughs> depends which way around you put it yeah <laughs> oh dear very good all right there's that one okay yeah, yeah. on to the next one and uh we had this one uh last week on the uh rate my livery show with lewis and it went down like a sack of turds <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice model of JMC Air 757-200 Snap Fit 1-200 scale. That Premier planes or something? I would think so. Um, let me just confirm. In fact, it doesn't actually say. It just says JMC Airline 757-200 model aircraft mm -hmm. and rare. I don't know if it is, but that's what they're saying. The brand apparently is Long Prosper, which I think was before Premier planes. Okay. Um, lovely push fit model aircraft of JMC Airlines uh, 757200, 1-200 scale, mint condition, never displayed, only put together for the attached photos. In original box as sold by JMC. Free postage and packaging. I'll pay thruppence because it's an absolute dog airline that is. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I've got one of these. Oh, I've got one of those. I used to have one. I think I'm, it's broken I'm, now. I'm certain I've still got one. I'm not sure if I do. I know I've got the DC-10, but I don't have the... Uh, I'm sure I've got the 757. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've got it. If you know your models, you'll know the, the quality of Long Prosper. <laughs> yeah, it's like hollow, isn't it? Yeah. JMC <laughs> Delta. Yeah. yeah, I've been on that one. Everyone got a price? Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, reverse order. Matteo, over to you. How much for that model? Uh, I don't know. $17.99. $17.99. Jack? 15 quid. 15 quid. Noel? 15 quid. 15 as well. Darren? 25. 25. Alison? 35. 35. Cat? Ten. Ten pounds. And Caitlin? Ten. Ten as well. Okay, so for this model, um, uh, Noel, you, uh, Noel and Jack will probably kick yourselves because you're a penny over. £14.99 is what it would set you back if you were to buy it. Which, to be fair, seeing as we're going to go on a little bit of like a model mania type thing, it's not a bad price. It really isn't. No, that's not bad at all. It's yeah. not a bad price. Um, but two points for uh, who are the ones that were under? Uh, just yeah, Cat and Kate. Not me. <laughs> yes, not Alison. <laughs> not, not you. Um, but, uh, two points for Cat and Caitlin on that one. So very well done to you. As we move on to the final one of the round. Uh, just make sure I don't do that. Okay, I know Jack would probably love to have this in his back garden. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Airwolf. 
That's how it That's the one and nine. position into it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, controversial. Um, right, it's the Augusta um, 109 helicopter airframe for static display. And if that's not obvious to you, I don't know what is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> parted out slash time expired airframe, no logs and not airworthy. Ideal use for a film prop, training uh, training aid or static display, etc. For a UK <coughs> sale, local collection only. How local, I hear you ask? Ipswich. Oh, okay. Does it come with the wooden pallets? <laughs> I would, I, I'd severely hope so. Um, what <coughs> do do? Does it come um, with a fuel tank behind it? Why well, can't? Well, it's all, it's still kitted out with the cockpit and the seats in the back. Where are the wheels? <laughs> in the wheelbase. <laughs> Probably why it's on pallets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So nice, uh, nice, interesting one for this one. How one careful owner? Yeah, hey? definitely one careful owner. Mm. <laughs> it does look like it's been kept quite well, actually. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Like looking at the other pictures on the listing, I like, say all the interior is, uh, the interior is pr in pretty good shape. Leather mm. seats are still in there. The cockpit's still in there as well. It's just missing. Does anyone? Does anyone know anything about the actual helicopter itself? Like, are those helicopters quite new, old? Were they well-regarded helicopters? Like... Jack, do you know anything about these? I mean, B Belgium, Belgium used, the, um, uh, used it for a uh, display aircraft, which obviously Belgium being a fantastic uh, display uh, <laughs> uh, country. Let's have a look. Quite common for VIP transports. For oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so the first flight of the uh, the AW one hundred nine helicopter was nineteen seventy one. Oh wow! And they are still in production now. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, all right. It's got big brothers in the Coast Guard, isn't it? One three nine and one five nine. Absolutely. Uh. All right, everyone got a price for this one? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, last one for the round. Uh, what do we say for this? Let's go, Caitlin, first. Uh, 10,000. 10,000. Uh, Cat? 1,200. 1,200 quid. Uh, Alison? 12,500. 12,500. Uh, Darren? 25,000. 5,000. Noel? At 14 grand. 14 grand. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't spend that much if it was airworthy. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, over to you. 14,000. 14,000 as well. Uh, Matthew? Uh, 2,450. 2,450. All right. For this uh, practically sort of whole helicopter, except for the wheels and rotor um, and kept in very good condition. It would set you back fourteen nine nine five. Get in there! Come on. <laughs> so two points go to uh, both Noel and Jack. You only get three hundred vector points for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but think of the fuel you were paid. You'll get vector points for as well. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Very good. All right. Yeah. Fourteen nine nine five for that one. Uh, we finished now. We've done that. That's <laughs> over. All right, round two, done going. and dusted. Here are the scores updated. In last place with four points is Alison. <laughs> uh, in sixth place with eight points is Kat. Um, in fifth place with 12 is Jack. Uh, in fourth place with 14 is Caitlin. Uh, in joint second with 16 points is Darren and Noel. Uh, and leading the way by a single point with 17 is Matteo. So very well done. You're going to have to use your brains once again as we go into the brand new round for the show. Um, yes, we'll take a quick break while we do that. Very good uh, shout, actually. Alison, it's off to you, uh, get a beverage. Uh, if anyone else would like to kind of disappear for a toilet or a drink or anything else, you can do so 
right now. See you tomorrow. She's gone. Anyone else want to disappear for get a drink? Jack's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's got it. Everyone just gets up one by one. <laughs> Caitlin's next. Cat's next. <laughs> Very good. I love your uh, C919 video, Noel. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> how, uh, how was it? I bet you had great fun. That it, was amazing. it was fun. Yeah, I wasn't going to do it, to be honest. Um, so I, I just ended up, I had a connection through Shanghai anyway. And then I was like, I saw all the posts about it going like flying from Shanghai. And I was like, I wonder if I, there's a way I can do it. And I worked. I had to find a way I could do it, basically. And um, yeah, there was, um, if I got the right visa, I could sort of connect through and then come back out through another city. And got the C919. It's pretty cool. It's an interesting plane. It's, it's really nice, actually, to um, ride on. But, um, yeah. yeah, I don't know kind of how, how well it it's going to go going forwards. But it was nice to fly on anyway. That was quite nice. So. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it was interesting because when I was watching it, I was thinking to myself, didn't um, Michael O'Leary from Ryanair, didn't he make comments about wanting to buy some back He back was in the about day, it, when... wasn't he? Yeah, he was yeah. about it when they announced it years ago. So yeah. mm. who knows? Yeah, you might so... see him, but um, yeah. Cause... Yeah, no, it's, it's quite nice. Quite, it's um, <laughs> nice to ride on. It does feel like a A320, really. Yeah. But apart from the, like, the little winglet things and stuff like that, and the, the, the overhead light things were really cool. And there was like, loads yeah, of lovely things. Yeah. Oh, proper surprise me the leg room really did surprise me because it was like more comfortable than an a320 normally so but obviously that's down yeah. to whoever flies it isn't it but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome how, how was the build quality because years ago i flew on a I flew from Kiev Ky to uh budapest on an end of 124 of erisit and on the on the toilet you'll love this on the toilet doors when they put all the Hatches on the screws were coming out the other side. <laughs> you know what? I, I actually did. I was fiddling around with stuff and I was like, it was actually the build quality was okay, not as bad as the Sukhoi Super J. I don't know if anybody ever flew on one of them, they were just no. yeah, dreadful. Yeah. Interesting. I remember so I flew one back to Birmingham once, and when they opened the cargo door, I was sort of sitting above it, and you could see the side of the plane flex as the cargo door <laughs> yeah. opened. And I was like, oh, that does not oh, look good. <laughs> it certainly felt like sturdier than that, yeah, definitely. Yeah. The engines make a funny noise on those things. Oh. Yeah, they do. Yeah, more on the C919, it's a leap engine, so it's the same as on the um, on the Neo. It's yeah, basically the same as that. So, yeah, it was, it was quite nice. Yeah. What, what was, was the cabin there. noise like in comparison? Like kind of wind noise during cruise? Was it any noticeably different, Just louder, quieter? It was an A320, really. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was literally it was identical. You would not think there was any difference to an A320. It was that close. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah, nice one. All right, everybody got their uh, beverages and needed to do what they need. Well, yeah, need to do what they needed to do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, we're, we're going to go on to uh, the third round, the penultimate round. It's far too healthy, Caitlin. <laughs> 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 uh, right, penultimate round and brand new, and it's going to involve a lot of thinking. So I'm going to give you a bit of time to think about these ones. There's no blurriness though, so you'll be fine. We go in two. Uh, Airports Anonymous. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is basically I'm going to show you. I've got six pictures of overviews of airports from either on the ground or above the ground. I just need you to tell me what airport it is. Fairly straightforward, right? Not at all. Not until you see the pictures. Um, <laughs> Are we talking European? Yeah. Anywhere. America, the rest of the world. Okay, so I haven't made it too difficult, in a way. So major, <laughs> we'll go with major, in a way, like major airports, if that, rather than like airfields and things like that, because then it becomes impossible. So sort of major airports. Um, and what are your classes uh, major? Huh? What are your classes Cardiff. major? <laughs> Bigger than Denham. Manchester and above. Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> um. You'll, you'll see. You'll see what I mean. It, well known. Old well known, Morden. Well known airports. Bodmin <laughs> <laughs> Airfield. Um, right. So, <laughs> well, we'll kick it off. We'll go with the first one, and we'll see. You, you'll get the idea. But yeah. write the answers down, uh, and we'll do. We'll make it things a little bit interesting before the last round. Five points up for grabs for the right answer. Um, let's go for the first one. Then should be hopefully nice and easy. What airport <laughs> is this? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it says on it. 
There we go. Oh, yeah, it actually says it right in the middle of the photo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it does indeed. I didn't even see that. <laughs> so please, everybody, get it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just the like that. I was literally, what's, I what's picked the name up the of photo. the airport. I just picked I've never up the photo. Heard of a airport before, is that? Do you need the code as well? It's the... <laughs> no, not the code. Just, uh, just the uh, the actual. Um, just, just yeah. Just tell me what the airport is, basically. Um, right. Let's have a look. Jack, you first, please. <laughs> Which one? It's not her. What'd you say? Tenerife. <laughs> <laughs> That's five points closer. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Everybody noticed it, but you, Jack. <laughs> it literally said it on the... All right, let's go for the rest. Caitlin, over to you. Madeira. Madeira. Cat. Funchal. Funchal. Alison. Funchal. Funchal. Darren. Ronaldo International. Yep. Uh, Noel. Madeira. Funchal. Madeira uh, Funchal and Matteo. Yep, Funchal, Madeira. And of course it is, Jack. I mean, it's on the damn thing, look. It's literally <laughs> right in the middle of the terminal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I actually flew the very first uh, British Airways 737 in and out of Funchal. And oh, it was wow. a very scary experience because the powers that be had actually got the figures wrong in our performance book. Oh, God. Ah. Stag staggered off the end of the runway and climbed away again. The they planned us to go back via Porto Santo to pick up fuel, but when I did the figures, I said, we can make it direct, and we did. But we sagged <laughs> off the end of the runway. And uh, wow. the skip s skipper called me up two days later and said they'd got the figures wrong in our performance book. God. <laughs> what, what, what 737 was that? Which 200. Ah, oh, awesome. Oh, brilliant. That's so cool. Yeah, it was back in about 1984 or three thereabouts. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, a lot of people think I should have blurred it out. I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice the fact <laughs> I said it. I didn't even notice well, it. Did Jack. But then, yeah, then again, I'm not the only one. <laughs> not, nor did Jack, even after we told him. <laughs> yeah, oh, Jack. Never change. All right. Well, that, is Ren that is Ronaldo's airport, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll take basically any name that it has that's officially registered as. So it's yeah, call it call it what you like. Um, right, over to the next one. I don't think it says it. <laughs> so I'll go for it. Just making sure it doesn't. Uh, airport, please for this one. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm now nervous because every time oh. I'm going to put these pictures up now, I think it's going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to double check. You should have double checked that one. Yeah, got it. Yeah, got that one easy. I'm just, let me, let me just double check one. the rest of them. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, there was a big clue on that. Yeah, okay. No, that's fine. That's that's not as obvious as I thought. That's fine. Um, no, it's very obvious. <laughs> I'm now I'm just I'm gonna quickly just take a quick look at the others. Um and just make sure that there is I nothing. I can even tell you which direction that's point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go then. Uh, I think the rest of them are fine, so we should be alright. Um <laughs> hopefully. Right, Matteo, airport. My favourites in the world right now, Atlanta. Atlanta says Matteo Jack. Atlanta. Atlanta. Noel. Atlanta. Atlanta. Darren. Atlanta. Atlanta. Uh, Alison. It is Atlanta International and it's facing north looking on the Dixie Taxiway. Good. You can tell she's been there a few times. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Over to you. Yeah, me too. Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. Um, and Caitlin? Atlanta. Atlanta. Of course it's Atlanta. And why is it Atlanta, everybody? My Delta Jets. My Delta Jets. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. fly yeah. delta thing at the right hand side of the screen. And if you look, that's me doing a walk round. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the three fifty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> very good. Well done if you got Atlanta. Give yourself five points in the chat. I said there'll be a few easyish ones because I don't want to make this too difficult. Here's another. <laughs> Cat should get this one. Yeah. <laughs> mm, interesting. <laughs> trying, to put a, trying to put a date to it. <laughs> yeah. White water. I'm more thinking if I'm that high in approach, there's a lot of paperwork to fill out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're we looking at the the big one at the front or the one behind that lake at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Two freezer challenge now, though, isn't it? it certainly is. Wait for the terminal. Uh, you should all have an answer. There were mm -hmm. twelve runways in that picture originally. Wow. Yeah. One, two, two, four, yeah. six, eight. Where's this? Literally a star, star of David. Um, yes. Yeah. In the old days. Lovely. Yeah. Nice one. All right, everyone's got an answer. Two. Let's have a look. See what you've put. Go down the line. Caitlin? Heathrow. Oh, Cat? Yeah, Heathrow. Allison? Hounslow International. <laughs> Always wanted to say it differently. Uh, Darren? EGLL. EGLL, Noel, Heathrow, Heathrow, Jack, Heathrow, Manchester, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matteo, Heathrow, Heathrow, of course, it's Heathrow Airports. Well done. All right, on to the next one. I have checked, it doesn't say it. I oh, don't think... <clears throat> Got it. Mm. Just having a look. Um, I'm just making sure it doesn't say it anywhere, so that's fine. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> it does say on the terminal, but you can't read it. <laughs> oh, yeah, <exactly>. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, it's got me stumped. No, okie dokie. Oh, yeah. Got it. Good. Everyone got an answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Right. Take that off screen. So we're going to go in reverse order. Matthew. Zurich. Zurich. Jack. Zurich. Uh, Noel. Zurich. Aaron. Botten. Zurich. Allison. I'm going to be honest. I've never been there, so I wouldn't know. So I was thinking, as a guest, sound from, but it's not that, but. Sounds like Zurich. <laughs> Is that what you're going for? No, no, no. Because I'll be honest, I didn't know what it was. Oh, okay. Um, Kat? Zurich. Yeah. And Caitlin? Zurich. Okie dokie. It is, of course. Yeah, rows of Swiss down the bottom of the, uh, the, the big giveaway. Yeah, yeah. Zurich Airport. Elder, Elder Never been to Zurich. I always fancied it, but never been. I want to see their uh, A A340. Otherwise, yeah, they have we a really good airside bus tour. I've heard. Mm. So we, I got to head down. We did, a, to we did a fantastic sim detail based on Zurich um, to uh, to do um, ground proximity warning. Take off from Zurich and float flew off down a blind uh, canyon at about four thousand feet. Had to do a max energy climb to get over the ridge, and um, I did it first, and then. Uh, as I as I cleared the ridge, he said, "Right, just take it back to Zurich, and and we'll hand it over to the co-pilot." So, literally, did a, um, a chandelle at the top of the the climb. Uh, um, in fact, it was more of a Zukovsky roll. I just chopped an engine, flipped it round, back down the valley to Zurich. He tripped off the uh, the high speed warning circuit breaker, and we hit the field at about four hundred and fifty knots. Soon the seven. <laughs> And this, this, this was in an M, uh, MT seven five seven. Pulled the nose, pulled the nose vertical, and managed to get to eight and a half thousand feet in the vertical, doing rolls on the way up. Jeez, flipped, that sounds like the on, um, on the game. Flipped it onto its back, <laughs> flew back down the valley, uh, and then flipped it right side up as we as we re-entered this valley, and said, "You have control." And my first officer. 
who was a guy called Stratton Ritchie. And if you've ever been to Farnborough, you've heard his voice because he's the voice of Farnborough, the commentator. Um, he, he turned to me and very laconically said, Cat, you do realise I only talk about aerobatics. <laughs> <laughs> You're just wishing you could do it for real one day as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> 757, it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic aeroplane from that point of view. Great stuff. Real Let's hot do, trip. do love the 757. All right, two, two more airports to go uh, on this round. Here's your first. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Yep. Is. <coughs> That's where I got my holiday home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whoever took that picture there is very brave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or stupid. Or both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that landscape in that, in that picture. The what? what? A landscape in that picture with the with the mountains and all beautiful, that. yeah, very nice, both pi picturesque. Oh, oh. I can't believe it took him so long to put the traffic lights up there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jack, Jack, the Virgin A three forties are parked on the left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, has everyone got an answer? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll go down the line backwards. Uh, Matteo, over to you. Uh, St. Bart's or St. Barthelemy, whatever you want to call it. Bart's Jack. St. St. Bart's. Bart's Noel. St. Bart's. Aaron. St. Bart's. Alison. St. Barthelemy. Kat. Yeah, St. Bart's. Caitlin. St. Bart's. Bart's, of course it is. It is the world-renowned re world airport of uh, St. Bart's with the wonderful Runway 10 approach that literally will take people's heads off if uh, they're not careful. If you go diving in the bay, there's some really nice wrecks. Tweeters and scissors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. A couple of warriors, a couple of pikes. Yeah, very nice. A couple of Cessnas. Just run off the end. <laughs> One more to go. Ooh. Give yourself some points in the chat if you are getting the answers right. Let us know about the points that you've got at the end of the show. Can't believe we won a European Championship. Huh? Can't believe we won a European Championship. <laughs> That's quite an old picture, that. Right, everyone got something never, written down? Never seen it looking that clear. <laughs> no. Not that clear now. Not that anyway. Not at the minute, not with the smoke. <laughs> right, everyone got something written down? Yeah. Yep. Good stuff. Right, Caitlin, over to you. I was thinking JFK. JFK. Um... Cat, over to you. Yeah, Caitlin was thinking, right, JFK. Okay, Alison? Idlewild, JFK. Darren? JFK. Noel? JFK. Jack? JFK. And Matteo? JFK. Jaffers. Of course. You pilots will know what this is. Uh, JFK, New York John F. Kennedy <clears throat> Airport. Well done to the chat. Chat's done we're, uh, quite well on this one. Yeah. <clears throat> Very well done. Five points to you lot in the chat. You've got it. It's actually a good picture showing you the, 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 the landmarks used for Canazes, the mm. hotels, the racetrack. Yeah. That's quite a good view of it. Good stuff. Cool. All right. So as we close out round three, before we go into the last round, here are the scores. Lots of five points. So the scores are looking a little bit more better than they were before. Um, still last. So last place, <laughs> uh, 30, uh, sorry, 28 points is Allison. Um, sixth place with 36 is Kat. Fifth place with 37 is Jack. 
Um, fourth place with 44 is Caitlin. Um, joint second still with 46 is Darren and Noel. And Matteo leading the way by a single point of 47. It is all to play for Ooh. as we head into the final round that I know everybody loves. It's ejector seats. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Famous for Jack's Corma Airways and uh, lots of other stereotypical airline names that Jack will throw out. And I'm sure we'll get plenty of those again this evening. <laughs> so if you don't know how this round works, it's a bit like survival. I will give the uh, contestants um, a particular topic. Tonight we are revisiting the uh, airlines from a particular country uh, topic. Um, I will give them a country. They will come up with some airlines that uh, are in that country, whether they're um, still going or whether they are defunct. Uh, if one gets it wrong, uh, they will be eliminated, but the round will continue until there is one person left standing. There are three rounds of this, so it is literally all to play for um, as we go into this last round. Uh, so what well, we've got seven of us. So there will be seven points maximum up for grabs. So if you're out first, it's a single point. Out second, sing, uh, second, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if you can give me uh, the correct answer as the last person standing, you'll get a full ten points as opposed to the seven that you will be guaranteed. So, um, so the airlines can be uh, cargo, charter, scheduled, etc., past or present. Uh, I will give you about a minute or so to do a bit of brainstorming um, that you can come up with on top of your head. You can't repeat any answers. If you do, you are out. So, first one for you to brainstorm. South Africa. List of airlines. Past, present. Uh, from South Africa, I'll give you a bit of time to uh, have a think. Oh. One thing. Um, South Africa now. Gemma Rose on 39 points at the moment herself. Very well done. Okay. Brainstorming done. There are plenty of points to play for. Anyone's game here. Um, so we've got one point there. So we've got three points separating Matteo, Noel, Darren, and Caitlin. Jack can still do some damage here. Everyone's still playing places and points, so it's not an issue at all. We are going to go from the order of, because uh, Matteo is in the lead. Matteo will start. Then it'll be Caitlin, Jack, Noel, basically how you see on the screen, Darren, uh, Alison, and Kat. And then we'll do it in reverse order for the next one. So, uh, Matteo, as long as it's on the list, uh, can I have the first one, please? South African Airways. South African Airways. To oh, I'm here. Yeah, that's the extent <laughs> of my knowledge, yeah. Uh, Caitlin, <laughs> over to you. Um, Kenya Airways. Which one? Uh, Kenya Airways. Kenya. Afraid not. Afraid not. So a single point for Caitlin. She is out of that one. Um, let's go on to Jack. South African cargo. <laughs> Got to be in it. It's got to be in it. I'm sure they used to fly 737s. I'm sure Darren and Noel can uh, verify. I am. I'm positive because I have seen pictures of South African cargo 737s. Ah, uh, but are they South African Airways? Just in the cargo comfy. <laughs> It's, it's that they've definitely had the t right. Hang on, 
<laughs> Hang on. Not sure. Oh. Right. Just Sorry. just so everyone can confirm. When it loads. There you go. <laughs> Let me just save it. Come on. Right. Funnily enough, it's not on the list, but I count this. Yeah. I'll give you that. Oddly yeah. enough, it's yeah. not on the list though. So it's it's a strange one, but I, I would say that counts. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I count it. So yeah, well done, Jack. Just, um, it's probably, probably not listed because it's probably on the same AOC. Yeah. Quite possibly. Yeah. Um Noel, over to you. Comair. Comair, of mm. course. Yeah. Famous for um flying around in VA colours. Yeah. Um, over to Darren. It's not a building society, but nationwide. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, of course it is. Yeah, it is there. Very well done. Hang on. Uh, yeah, pardon, uh, excuse that. So, uh, no, uh, sorry, Darren, very good. Uh, Alison, over to you. Um, was it Federal Air, Federal Aviation, or no, something like that, I think it was. Yeah, I'll take that, that's there, that's on my list, very good. Uh, Kat? Well, I'm all out of options, so I'm just going to say British Airways, on the basis that that's how Cormair were operating. <laughs> you'll uh, you'll kick yourself. I mean, it's it's not there, so I'll, I'll take you off the screen. Uh, okay, but okay. you will you will kick yourself when uh, we go through the list. Hopefully, no one says it, and then we'll see. But two points for for Cat on that one. So Cat is eliminated. Um, as we go back to Matteo. Mango, mango. Of course, it is there. With their striking orange color scheme, uh, Jack, over to you. Fly Safari. Who? Fly Safari. Fly Safari. I, th yeah, I feel harsh for doing this. I feel I, I feel very harsh for doing this. Let's have a look. VAR check, everyone. <laughs> SFR. Yeah. I know what, he's, I know what he's trying to say, but do we give it? Let's see what the chat says. It's not quite the right name, but it's not. It's not. I mean, it's not far, but I was it? Know... A, was it a guess out of the blue, or, or, or did you have it in your head? It was just, just a complete guess, but okay. So it's a case of do we give it, or do we take him off? What does the chat say? Chat, there's a few people saying yes, and Gemma Rose says it's not quite the right name. I think there's a there's a few yeses in there, so I think we'll. I mean, it's it's a what tough... aircraft? What aircraft? Last 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 time we did that, if you can name an aircraft in their fleet, write it down. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. Go on, Jack. Uh, yeah, go on. What um what what aircraft? Um, I'm gonna say a so right, we're just messing uh, with you. The chat says to give it, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chat says to give it. I know exactly what he was trying to say. It's uh fly sapphire. Sapphire, yeah. Yeah, that's the one I think he was trying to say. But we'll go for it. So you stay in for now, Jack. Noel, over to you. Um Kalula. Kalula. Mm. Kalula, and I'm shocked that Kat didn't get this one because this is the one with her favourite livery on, with the um, sort of flying 101. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, Kalula is there. Darren, 
Um, Air Link, the Jetstream 41. Uh, Air Link. Yeah. I know it's there. I'm just, I want to confirm it is on the list because if South African cargo wasn't on there. Um, yeah, Air Link, of course, it is there. Very well done. Alison. Um, there's that new one. Oh, freaking hell. Oh shit, shit, shit! Sounds like a, it sounds like a ride hailing company. Um, I'm not going to say it's not Uber. Uh, Lyft. Very good. Lyft is on the list. Um, Matteo, over to you. Um, I'm running on final reserves. South African Express. <laughs> um, is it a link? Yeah, it's definitely there. It's on there. So well done to you, Jack. Fly came out. Kemair is there. It's not quite the name for it, but I mean, it's, it's close enough. Kemair is there. Jack stays in for now. Uh, Noel, over to you. See, I want to say Sapphire, but I know that's kind of <laughs> been taken, so I don't... Well, it's entirely up to you. Do you want to say it or no? <laughs> yeah, Sapphire. Not, not fly Safair, just Safair. It's on the list. Yeah, Safair is totally different to uh, to fly Safair. That's it. I'm out of my options now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's uh, it's definitely it's on the list, indeed. Um, Darren, over to you. Well, I've actually run out of options, but I'm going to go for African Air Cargo because it's Africa and I have cargo. <laughs> They must have operated DC eights, I think. Just name name again. African African Air Cargo. It's not there. It's not there. So three points. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, three three points for Darren. Uh, what's that? That's there. Okay, uh, Allison. Um, I'm not sure if this one's already gone or not. Bid? Is it Bid Air? Bid, bid Cargo? Bid Air? Something like that? I'm not sure if it's gone. Somebody possibly already said it. Oh. Oh. Bid Air's there on the list. And it hasn't been used either. So no one said that yet. So uh, Bid Air is there. Matteo, over to you. Um... I'm out of options, so I'm just going to have a complete guess at does uh, Air, Air Johannesburg exist by any chance? I'd... You see, Jack, you've uh, set a precedent here to make everyone, you know, just go name a place in the said country yeah. and, then... <laughs> <laughs> and then hope it just exists. But I'm, I'm, uh, I'm willing to call it quits if that's uh, bending the rules a bit. <laughs> no, 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 you're right. Uh, uh, guessing is fine, but um, it's not on the list, sadly. All right. Um, so, Four points for Matteo, um, which takes you on to 51. Okay, Jack, over to you. Uh, uh, this is a complete guess, but uh, Flex Flight. Bloody hell, someone's been researching. Goodness me. What's that? Flex Flight. Is that what you said? Yeah. No. Uh, five points for uh, five points for Jack. Um, good showing there. Very, very good showing. Um, got one. Got one. Got one. So, uh, who are we on now? It's uh, Noel, I think. Over to you. Well, I'm all out of ideas, so all I'm going to do is hope it's a separate company to South African Airways and say Sudafrikaans Vlugdienst. I think the old 747s had that written down the Nine side. Me. Yes. Um, the orange ones. Is it a separate airline, though? I don't know. Afraid not. It's not a separate mm. airline. Six. six I've got one. I've got one. No. So let me just pop that in there. Um, so, uh, Alison, four. And I've got one. I've got one. And I'm Ten pretty points. certain. Go for it. African Charter. Charter. 
10 points go to Alison. Very well done indeed. There we go. Full 10 oh, points for Alison. Done. Very good. Very good indeed. All right. Some of the airlines that you could have had. Um, the, I mean, pretty much all of the ones that are in commercial service right now are were all taken. Um, all the cargo ones were taken. Some of the defunct ones, obviously, with Cat uh, missing out on Kalula. Um, you could have also had, I'm just going to scan through, and uh, one time you uh, operated MD-80s in the red livery. Um, uh, African International Airways operating DC-8s. Um, you had Afrocargo Airlines, Afro Cargo, um, uh, Avia, Avia Airlines, who operates uh, 747 SPs. Um, other than that, like I said, that some of the names aren't too familiar. So I think you've done well with what you were given. Really. So, um, yeah, good one. Nice one. All right. So here's the scores after that particular round. Um, so last place and catching up. Joint last place, I should say. Allison and Kat, 38 points. In fifth, Jack, 42. Third, uh, third, Caitlin. Um, no, sorry, fourth, Caitlin, 45. Um, third, Darren on 49. Um, second place, Matteo, 51. And Noel, 52. The reigning champion is now... Oh. Oh. Blimey. It is all to play for still. Cat is not there. Interesting. All right, let's do a bit of brainstorming uh, as we move on to Italy. Oh. Jack, is that a Milky Way? Yeah. <laughs> just, just wondering what you were doing then. All right. Pardon, your Milky Way. List of past or present. Um... <coughs> Uh, Just have a think. We won't start the round until we can hopefully get Cat back, which we can. There she is. Oh God! Right, everyone knows the airline. I'm just going to swap everybody yeah. around in accordance to how we had it. <laughs> I th think it was like that. All right, so uh, the one you are doing now is Italy. Past or present. All to play for still. Uh, Alex Lyons is uh, backing Noel to uh, retain the title. <laughs> <laughs> so no pressure. Good luck with that one. So I'm going to let you down, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Alfets has left us, so uh, thank you for watching this evening. And, of course, thank you to everyone who is uh, sticking with us right through <clears throat> till the very end. It's all to play for. There is literally, I mean, including Jack in this. So, what's that? One, two, three. Yeah, four places. So, nine <clears throat> points. It's still all to play for. <clears throat> okay. That looked really suspect, Tom. Hey, <laughs> that looked really suspect. <laughs> what did I do <laughs> when you sat back? <laughs> oh no, I was just—I was re no, no, I was, just, I was adjusting my sitting position. <laughs> Not what you think. Um, all right, Italy is where we're at. Um, we're going to kick off with—we're uh, going to go the opposite way now. So we're going to go for Cat to kick us off. With uh, an Italian airline, past or present, please. Alitalia. Alitalia, of course. <clears throat> On the list, um, we now go to Alison. Uh, ITA. ITA, of course. Darren. ATI. ATI. What's that? It was like a charter arm of Alitalia, I think, in the 80s. Oh, okay. A decent ones. 
Yeah, they're under they're under something. They had like DC nines and stuff, didn't they? They're in a blue colour as opposed it. to the green colour. Yeah. yeah. Yep. On the list, uh, Noel. Neos. Neos, of course. We had the Merlot in the stream. Um, Jack. Blue, blue pa pa Paranormal Airlines. Blue Panorama. Yeah. I know they're there. They are indeed. Um, Caitlin. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> Who? Pizza Air. Pizza <laughs> Air. That's just mildly racist. Um, <laughs> like this. Pizza Air. Well, just to confirm. Pizza Air. My eyesight went funny, and I thought that said pasta something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I generally did. It's not. It's just, oh, um, God. Um, no, pizza, uh, um, sadly not. P pizza, uh, pizza air is not on the list, sadly. So a single point to uh, to Caitlin um, on that one. We go to Matteo. Uh, air Italy. Air uh, Italy, of course, is on the list. Uh, back to uh, back to you, Cat. Air Dolomiti. Air Dolomiti, of course, on the list. Operating Embraer 195s. Alison. Uh, that's the one I was going to say next. Uh... Oh. <laughs> uh... Tabby Fly. I don't know. That's a make -up, made up name, but. It is not on the list. So two points for Alison. This is how quickly things can change. Okay. Uh, Darren, over to you. Uh, Meridiana, Meridiana and their MD-80s. Indeed. Meridiana. Um, yeah, of course, they're on the list. Uh, Noel. Well, that was what I was going to say. So um, Alitalia Express. It's got to be there, isn't it? I think it had a different name. Was it? Embraer, isn't it? Embraer, mm, Embraer is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Alitalia yeah. Express is on the list. Is it? It yeah. is indeed. Yo. <laughs> yeah, Alitalia Express. Um, Jack. Air uh, Europa. Air uh, Europa. So close, Jack. But yet so far. Sadly not. Air Europa are, of course, everyone in the room? Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Two points for Jack. That. Uh, so we go to Matteo. Uh, Air One. Air One. They were the subsidiary, which I think were fully owned by Alitalia. They stopped operating in 20... 14, 15? 14, good shout. He knows his stuff. Air One, yes. <laughs> On the uh, on the list there, very good shout. Cat, uh, over to you. Um, Cargo Lux have got an Italian arm, I think, haven't they? Cargo Lux Italia, is it? They do indeed. Good shout. Uh, not uh, Darren, over to you. Europe Italy <laughs> used to have seven three sevens, and I think it's seven six or something. That was the one that Jack was so close. Like, so, so close. Reminded yeah, me. Air Europe. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Yeah, Air Europe were there on the list. Very good. Uh, no. Hey, it's, a, it's a bit of a guess. Um, Aero Italia. Aero Italia. Yeah, I think they do exist. Do they? They are. So they, they, went, they went to Heathrow sevens. for a few months. They did. Yeah. Uh -huh. they, yeah. They did indeed. So very good shout oh. um, for Aero Italia. Uh, they stopped Matthew. the services because they stopped the services because I think they only had like six passengers on average on their like Florence or Pisa <laughs> flight or something. Yeah, did a poor. Yeah, do the payload. I, yeah, it wasn't wasn't yeah. great. They sort of decided in the end to kind of no, no thanks, not for us. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, over to you, Matteo, for the uh, for the next one. I. I think don't they have an Alitalia City liner? They do, they do indeed. That's what you were thinking that the, the different yes. names, but yes, uh, Alitalia City liner with the merger into I think it's the Air One Express division sort of thing. They merged the two together and became 
Um, Alitalia, uh, City Liner. It's a very good shout. Um, uh, there, there, Kat, over to you. Uh, in Mediterranean. Mm-hmm. Good shout. It's on there. It's on the list. Uh, Darren. Alasadia. You should have uh, Wait, which one? Alasadia. A L S A R D I A or something. Alasadia. Alasadia. Goodness me. It is. Yeah. It's on the list. Very good. Very good indeed. Noel. <clears throat> Well, I'm completely out of ideas now, so I'm just going to say EasyJet Italy because I know they fly a lot there. I don't know if they've got an Italian arm. But... Just to confirm, it's not there. It's not there. Okay. So, <laughs> Noel, uh, Noel's gone. So, that's four points for no so six matter you're half italian aren't you or italian roots yeah italian roots italian? i'm a fake italian so <laughs> i expect you to win this uh, wow well. <laughs> all right matthew over to you um i don't know if it's italian or french but wasn't there a freight a freight company called asl which had those orange that those yellow and purple 737s no, not I've seen them a lot around, like some remote Italian airports. But I, I, I have a feeling they might be French. They are indeed French. Ah, okay, yeah, I'm out. Sorry. Five points for Matteo. It's going to be so interesting. Um, all right. So, Cat, over to you. I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel here, just trying to make airlines up. I think. <laughs> uh, well, this sounds as if it should exist, and if it doesn't, then they should start it. What about Air Espresso? Air Espresso. <laughs> what a fantastic name. Um, let's have a look. You should invest. <laughs> Cat. Cat, it's on the list. <laughs> Oh, Operated until 1934 and absor uh, absorbed into Alla Littoria. Oh my God. I'm not even kidding. Air Espresso Italiana. That's as good as air pizza. <laughs> it literally, it literally is on the list. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, Darren. <laughs> Darren, over to you. That's okay. I think I've got one. Uh, well, I've got a couple, but. Alitalia used to operate the cargo division and he used to have this red cheap line in amongst the green and it was Alitalia cargo system or Alitalia cargo. They had a couple of DC-9s as well. Freighters. So I assume they're a separate entity. Yeah. Uh... Was it Alitalia cargo system or just Alitalia cargo? I can't remember. This could be like the South African cargo. You might have to get a picture. <laughs> I, I know, I, yeah, I know exactly what you're on about. Um, yeah, do you know what? I'll give. You, I, I know it's there. I know it's there. It doesn't yeah. say on the list, but it's it's technically under on the list I've got. It's technically under Alitalia Cargo, but it's virtually the same airline. So I will take it. Uh, Cat, over to you. Oh, this is getting crazy. Now. I'm <laughs> still. I, I mean, the last one was completely made up. Um, what about helicopters? We haven't had any of those. Hell Italia, as opposed to Al Italia, Hell Italia. Hell Italia. Cat. It's not on the list. Um, so six points for uh, <laughs> love it. <laughs> six points for Cat. Um, it's very good. So Darren for for ten. I remember an airline used to operate in the Gatwick with caravels in the 1980s, and one of the registrations was IGISA, I G I S A. I can't remember the name of the airline. It might have been something like Gisa Airline, Giza Airlines, or something. Is that we've been going for. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I think. I think it's wrong. Sadly, not. So just the seven points for you. Um, okay. 
I'll bring everybody back and I will sh wow. let you know what you could have had. What that has done. These red that... ads sounds like it should have come from Essex. <laughs> <laughs> what that wrong answer has done is it's made the final round so interesting. And I'll, I'll get to that very, very shortly. Some of the airlines you could have had um, were, uh, or, I mean, all the uh, scheduled ones are sorted. Um, the standout oh, yeah. ones you could have had, Eurofly with a big red E on the tail. No, um, no, you could have had quite a few. I would have taken a second Air Italy or even a third Air Italy because there were three uh, variations of them. So a repeat answer would have been absolutely fine. Um, you could have also had four different variations of Alitalia. So I would have taken Alitalia four times because there are many variations of them. Alpi Eagles. Is that because the time went bust? Yeah, <laughs> my favorite yeah. my favorite fact about Alitalia. I, I double check if this is correct. So they were founded in 1946 and apparently reported one year of profit, and that was in 1998. <laughs> Some, somebody in the chat with a, a fact check, please, on that one. I'm sure that would be correct anyway. But fact check, please, on that one. Um, other airlines you could have had um, were Azura. Azura Air operated 737-700. Uh, yeah. um, you could have had Cargo Italia, which is different to the uh, Alitalia one, operating DC-10s. Um, Eurofly were mentioned. Uh, da, 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 some other mentions. Italy Airlines with the, sort of the, the, the cow print looking livery on the MD-80s. And the smaller one, Livingston. Livingston would have been on the list. Lauda yeah. Air Italy as well. Lufthansa Italia yeah. as well. Um, on the list as well. Uh, two different variations of Mer Meridiana. Um, Mistral Air with the uh, yellow and uh, white color scheme. My Air. The uh, 747 operator, Ocean Airlines, which was a cargo airline. Um, you could have had them. Silkways Italia, you could have had. Small Planet Airlines as well. We know they had a Polish division. They were technically down as Italian as well. Uh, oh, wow. Volair. Valair Airways, Volaweb, uh, Windjet as well. So many on there that you could have had. Um, but very well done indeed. So this is where it gets very, very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. So scores as it stands. <clears throat> In last place, 40 points is um, is Allison. Uh, still there. Sixth place. Uh, sorry, joint sixth on 44 is Kat and Jack. Fourth place is Caitlin with 46. So as it stands, Alison, Kat and Jack can't win, but it's fine. What it does do is in joint first on 56 is the trio of Darren, Noel and Matteo. <laughs> so there is a three-way dance here for the uh, the trophy. So this is going to matter quite a bit. I mean, it doesn't. It's not important. But for everyone watching, it just makes a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. Can you, can you choose a country no one hasn't been to, please? <laughs> I haven't been to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't tell me that anyway. Um, so a bit of brainstorming then. We have a three-way tie for the uh, the trophy. Um, the country that it rests upon is Brazil. Oh, bugger. <laughs> we have Brazil last time. Yeah. Did we have that last time? Yeah. Yeah. We did have no that excuses last time. now. Okay, we did have that last time. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I can uh, I can change that. Oh. oh. Let's use this as a bit of a break, just while, <laughs> just while I change that up a little bit. I didn't realise that we'd... Uh, We've done that already. All right, let me uh, let's have a look. See what I can do here. Uh, if anybody needs to grab a drink or anything, now you must suggest Norway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could. Um, <laughs> um... I love man. Okay. No, what do you think of your F one hundred and fifty? Do you like it? It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, not not driven it. What do you use the back end of it for? Sorry. This question. What did you put in the back? 
What did you use the back for? The back. The, uh... You know what? We've already had a pallet loaded in it. Yesterday, we went to the Home Depot and we brought some stuff back and um, they loaded it on a pallet into the back. And I was like, yes, I feel like a trucker now. Excellent. <laughs> and a big question is, if you're living in Texas, if you're yeah, living exactly. in Texas, have you got a gun rack in the back of it? No, he doesn't have a gun <laughs> rack. No, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> get a few spot from a cowboy hat inside to hang that from that's all yeah. <laughs> yeah, the what's the fuel economy Ooh. like <laughs> it's, it's, it's not it's not brilliant it's like i think yeah i got 15 miles per gallon yesterday so i was quite impressed with that but it's like wow. two dollars something a gallon so it's, yeah 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 it, it doesn't really matter yeah yeah they still think that's expensive i was gonna say they i do. remember when they, they, they started bleating when it hit a dollar yeah, they did. Yeah, I mean, it's, it cost us to fill it up the other day was like $40 or something. So mm -hmm. just, what, 25, 30 quid to fill it up. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's cheap. Even here, here compared to the rest of the country, it's pretty cheap because Texas is like where it's made, I think. So. Comes out of yeah. the taps. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> What's the right. next adventure? Next adventure, Kazakhstan. Um, well, the next international one's Kazakhstan. We've got some stuff here for a bit. Um, so we're going over to like Vegas and stuff, doing a few bits and pieces over there. Uh, nice. But the next international one, I'm going to Italy, actually, in um, Kazakhstan. So in August. Awesome. So that'd be cool. So we've got some um, Antonov uh, stuff uh, that are still flying over there. So, um, oh, yeah. wow. So, so when you're... You've got to do your Borat impression. Yeah, more boring Borat impressions. Impression. Yeah, I think I've outdone them now, but yeah. And there'll be no more <laughs> airways on this one you as well. A few, you get a few centuries on <laughs> So when you're like looking at all these um like uh, trips and like when like uh, when you're going to places, how do you gather an itinerary together? Like where do, what, what what websites do you use to like book tickets, get everything kind of together to be able to do it? So this one started off um, with I got a cheap flight with ITA Airways. Just they just popped up, and I was like, "Well, I'll try them." And then uh -huh. I got a cheap flight back with Suriname Airways as well. And I thought, "Well, that'll do like either end of the trip." And then I was like, "I either wanted to go to Kazakhstan or Africa." I couldn't really be bothered with Africa again this time because it's it's an exhausting trip, and there's not a massive amount down there now to film that I've not done already. So I was like, well, there's Antonov's in Kazakhstan. I could sort of patch together a bit of a trip over there and maybe do some trains and stuff while I'm there. And in the end, I've just ended up finding this um, Antonov airline in um, Almaty that fly out to some of these remote towns on the An-24. So yeah. I booked that and I booked on Neos. To, I found for some reason Neos have a weekly flight to Milan from Almaty, which is just like random. But I've, I've booked that and I thought I'd do a bit in Italy and... Um, then I'm sort of doing St. Martin and everything on the way back because I've got Suriname Airways, so we'll be doing them. Oh, and brilliant. A couple of airlines Lovely. around there to do. So it's just sort of, this one's just fallen together, really, in about six different countries. Mm. But, um, yeah. But yeah, usually I just sort of pick an area and say, All right, I want to do a bit in that sort of area and then just book a load of stuff and see what pops up and find, you know, look at flight radar and see what airlines are flying around there and just sort of see if I can get a ride on them, really. That's, oh, yeah. brilliant. Have <laughs> you, you, you ever planned a trip and you thought, oh, this flight's too expensive? Yeah. Or, or you sort of, yeah, I sort of, sort of. I mean, like, I've had it, the most expensive one I did was, um, ridiculously, it was on a Cessna caravan um, in um, Kenya because I wanted to fly from Kenya to Tanzania, but it was during COVID. So a lot of airlines had reduced their service line, like loads. <sighs> So um, I got managed to find a flight to Kilimanjaro, and it was all right. It was only like a couple of hundred dollars or something for this seat. But then as it got nearer, they like called me a few days out and said, you're the only passenger on it, so you can either pay for the rest of the seats or you can't go. And I'm like, well, if I don't go, then I will lose the rest of the trip, literally. I've lost like thousands worth of um, flights if I don't do that flight. Um, so I ended up, I just said to how much is it going to cost? And it ended up costing me like four and a half grand. And it was effectively like a private jet. And it's like, because I was like the only one on it, it was like, this is ridiculous. Like, it's a Cessna caravan. It's not yeah. even anything that, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Exciting, yeah. I ended up just paying for them to fly me to bloody Kilimanjaro. So yeah, that was um, weird. But um, yeah, that's... It's probably been, probably been cheaper to just find a local a local charter company and say, they've got me down. Very possibly, yeah. 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 Very possibly. Or even just go via somewhere else, like Qatar Airways or something. But um, yeah, it was just... Could have got down to the little local flying club, they'd have dropped you off. 
<laughs> yeah, I bet they did talk to me, but um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just, well, it's one of things. Right. <laughs> so, new, new country. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Um, one I know we haven't done before. Well, one to brainstorm. Belgium. Mm. Yeah, no, no, we could get from... List of airlines, passport. Can I have a from there? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> when you go to Italy, can I have a recipe from there? Because I want to try and do one. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> All right, list of airlines, past or present, um, cargo, <laughs> charter, etc. All rides on this with Matteo, Darren, and Noel all on 56 points. Don't worry, Noel and Darren, you'll, uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> sure. Not sure. many airlines have they in Belgium? God. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back on ourselves. Matteo will start, and then we'll go Caitlin, Jack, Noel, Darren, Alison, and Kat. Uh, Carl Crawford saying, can hear Italy crying again if Jack gets uh, a, re a recipe from there. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, final round for this particular round. It's up for grabs. Matteo, kick us off. Brussels Airlines. Brussels Airlines, it's there on the list. Um, Caitlin. Um... Can I Bel Bel Belgium Airlines or something? I don't know. Okay. Not on the list, sadly. No Belgium Airlines on there. Uh, so a point to you. Um... Air Antwerp. Antwerp. Mm. Fuckers. Air Antwerp on the list. Very good. Noel. Sabina. Oh, Sabina. Hello, oh, Sabina. Very good shout. <laughs> yeah, very good shout, Sabina. Uh, Darren. <clears throat> uh, TEA, Trans European Airways. Yeah, on the list. Very good. Uh, Tui. Tui, of course, on the list. Cat. Uh, oh, Air Belgium. Air Belgium on the list as well. Uh, back down to you, Matthew. Uh, sorry, I'm out. <laughs> no, got, got nothing. nothing. Sorry. Don't want to throw anything like a what like Cat did with the air uh, espresso and no, somehow I, I, the list. I don't know much about Belgium, I'm afraid. Sorry. Oh, for, Bel for Belgium, that would be air, that would have to be air muscles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matteo is out. So two horse race um, as it goes. So two points for Matteo. Um, a Z L. Jack. A Z L. Who? Yeah. AZL ZL AZL AZL Three points to Jack Ooh. Not on the list <laughs> Harsh <laughs> uh, No VLM VLM On the list, good shout, Darren. Sobelair. Sobelair on the list, Alison. Thomas Cook. Thomas Cook, indeed. Uh, Cat. Dat. Dat airline. Um, yep, on the list. N uh, Noel. Um, European Air Transport. Euro trans. Yep, very good on the list. Uh, Darren. Tui. Tui Belgium. Alison's already said it. Oh, is she? 
She said Tui. Yeah. No worries. Which means uh, three. How many we've got here? One, two, three, four points for Darren. About to uh, make a little bit of history here, but we'll carry on. Uh, Alison, uh, over to you. TNT. TNT on the list, Cat. Meridian. Meridian on the list. Really good shout, that one. No. SN Brussels Airlines. SN Brussels. Very good shout. Um, uh, Alison, OT. Uh, Sunrise Charter Operator, I think you were. Sunrise operated until 2003 as they were rebranded uh, as TUI from the Belgium division. Very good. Cat, uh, over to you. I think Thomas Cook had a Belgian operation at one point, didn't they? They did. Um, and Alison has said that. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, so what we got there, five points to Kat, which means we are down to two. Um, uh, Noel, I think. Noel, over to you. Jet Air Fly. Jet Air Fly on the list. Uh, um, the original cattle class was a oh, it was a livestock company. They used to ferry cows and sheep and things like that. Transjet or something like that. Trans Transjet. It used to literally be cattle. Transjets, yes. Livestock carrier operating the 727-100 combi. Uh, no. Goodness me. Um, DHL Air. I don't know if that was a Belgian one or just a British one. It's not there, but it doesn't matter too much. Six points for Noel, um, which means for... Full 10, Alison. And the one that's very close to my heart, because it's the company I work for, Virgin Express. Oh, the, what was Virgin was Express, Virgin very good. Very good. My 10 S2. points for Alison. Um, what it does mean uh, for the final scores is this. Rather interestingly, and it, I, I wouldn't sit and say it's a bad thing, um, joint last is uh, on 47 points is Jack, Kat and Caitlin all on the same number of cool. points, uh, 47. So very well done to you. Um, fourth place, Alison with 50 points. Right. Uh, here's how close it was. Third place, Matteo, 58. Darren, second place with 60. And history, everybody. <laughs> uh, the, retaining the title uh, for the first time in the show. <laughs> Uh, with 62 points, so two points difference, uh, Noel Phillips is still your reigning defending crazy. business jet <laughs> champion. That was close, super close. But a very well done to everybody involved. Very respectable, of course, uh, as well. Wonderful. Goodness me. What, what an evening. What an evening of a quiz that was. Uh, hopefully everyone's enjoyed that. Um, that was great. And um, yeah. yeah, it's been great. Well done, no. Thanks Thank for having you. us. A lot of good fun. <laughs> Definitely good fun. Mind you, I, feel, that I, feel, I feel cheated. We didn't have a drawing round. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, after everyone complained about it, I mean. <laughs> but uh, no, very well done, everybody, and. Uh, now what we'll do is everyone in the chat if you've been playing along keeping the points let us know what your points are uh now uh in the chat and we'll see how they compare to today's um contestants as well um but what we'll do at the same time is we'll actually let me show while everyone's here jack has i say kindly asked me but he's persisted that i show off some photos of the spitfire that he caught <laughs> yesterday at compton at bass so here for everyone's viewing pleasure is the oh, first wow. one nice nice nice, nice. <laughs> And where was this? Uh, Compton Abbas. Where's that? Um, so it's a little airfield in uh, Dorset. Okay. Oh, cool. It's stunning. It's one of, the, one of the prettiest airfields in Britain. It's beautiful. Mm. 
And, and it's just been bought one. by Guy Ritchie. Yeah, oh, Johnson, is it? Oh, I like that one. That's lovely. Sure. So are these those flights that they pay like three and a half grand for 20 minutes of yeah. keeping around yeah. Spitfire? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. Wow. Nice. So I also managed to uh, meet the uh, meet the pilot as well, uh, flight lieutenant uh, Charlie Brown. Absolutely dead down to work, ain't the word. Awesome. Charlie Brown, what are your cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. I was just waiting for someone to say that. that. <laughs> no, wonderful, wonderful photos there. Um, excellent no cooking, stuff. No cooking right. photos, Jack. <laughs> Sadly, not. No cooking photos. No, Jack hasn't sent me any, and I don't know whether that's a blessing or or not. But um, <laughs> but we'll save them for next week if we've got them. But um, but that's that's absolutely fine. Right. Um, so. There's a lot of people to do shout outs, but we'll, we'll thank everybody that's watched uh, this evening. Um, and uh, if you've enjoyed the quiz as well, uh, do leave a like, like I said, on the uh, on the stream as well, just to show your support for, this, uh, for the channel uh, and the, the quiz as well. Um, I know a lot of people enjoy it and it's a nice little getaway for a Sunday night before a, another working week is upon us. Um, other than that, really, just yeah, I'll say a big thank you to everyone that watched. Big thank you to Kat, Alison, Darren. Noel, Jack, Caitlin, and Matteo for um, taking part in this evening's quiz. And if you want to be on the next one for Christmas Jet 7, um, you can get in touch with us through the social medias that are in the description below and see if you can take the crown from uh, from Noel Phillips. But, um, yeah, just bear me two seconds. I'm getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> You did this ready. <laughs> just, I'm getting shouted at. It's just not shouted like for anything. It's just like I don't know. It's fine. All right. Uh, yeah. No. No. No cooking stuff this evening because Jack hasn't sent me anything. Uh, so yeah. But if you want to get involved uh, with the quiz next uh, for next month, uh, get in touch. Uh, we're also looking for somebody to take part in rate my liveries as well for July. So if you want to get involved with that too, um, get in touch with us, like I said, on social medias and things like that. Other than that, we're going to do the very, very cheesy um, goodbye, uh, as everyone does on game shows and stuff. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, and on behalf of everyone here uh, that has taken part this evening, uh, we wish you the very best of the rest of your evening. And of course, a wonderful week um, leading up to the next show, which will be more mania, I believe, with myself and Wayne. But for now, take care, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time for Quizness Jet. Uh, thank you, everybody. Wave to the camera, everyone. <laughs> In the cheesiest game style possible. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Liberty squares. <laughs> Cheesy. Cheesy.